don't know about you guys, but that is a very interesting duel. And that kind of is kind of the theme of what we're going to talk about very shortly. Let's get on to it. What a, what a duel that was. Labyrinth against Snake Eyes. Throughout all that, they still managed to sneak out that victory. Love to see it. And that kind of is the theme also with us as well. Um, so welcome everybody to the stream. It's your boy Dumb Boss back again. Um, it's been I think six days, almost a week since we last streamed, and your boy's been grinding. Uh, the master rank, the, 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 the master do ranked, of course. Like I said, we we start out in platinum, and I would say after a hundred games, we are finally in master rank. Yes, we reach master rank five at this point in the month, which is very early, I would say. Um, considering we started in platinum, by the way, we didn't start in diamond, we started in platinum. So most people would start diamond master, but <laughs> we did it a bit differently. So that's a bit interesting. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, here's the proof right here. We literally entered today, like this morning, as I was like, you know, I was planning to obviously stream today, but then I was like, okay, look, I'm, I'm this close. Let me at least try and, you know, get there so that we can, you know, have a bit of fun, you know? So at least, you know, the big hurdles out the way, we've, we're in master rank. So whether we de-rank or not, we're still in master. So that at least is there. We can actually push for master one this season, which is actually a very high prospect. And if we can do that, that's also a heck of an achievement because I don't think we've done that before because in the past we've always done it towards normally the end of the season we've pushed into master but now we have quite a bit of days ahead of time so we can actually try and push for that master one rank which i'm quite um happy about that we achieve master rank so we can do you know other things you know uh but yeah let me not um you know go on too long but basically this is the deck that we use this season specifically and this is not my normal build that i run but for some reason i don't know why but for some reason since the duelist cup last season uh from division level 17 to level max first stage this is a decade that i ran and it was actually doing pretty good and now you probably think oh but now maxi's in here cross outs in here yeah it's it, it, because it was suggested by if you were to say hey you know what you've you've never used max c before and obviously in a competitive setting like the duelist cup i mean you want to have at least a bit of an advantage because obviously of course we know from time to time you know the opponents always have max c and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work but i said okay fine let's let's see what will happen because i don't run normally run max c in my decks before i mean if you look at my past seasons reaching master rank i've never used max c before but now how do we incorporate it this season given now we're obviously in a crazy meta right now with fire snake eyes rescue ace even unchained in there labyrinth still doing well branded still being branded doing well and yeah so we made a couple of changes we we did we took out a few things you know just book of moon book of eclipse not there though i would i, I do like them but um, obviously i didn't miss them that much but i would like to have seen one of them so we just threw into maxi uh and the cross out because cross out obviously as you can see we play droll we play velo we play one ash we play nib we play their duster we play so many things so we let a lot of cross out targets then i threw in sanit mining but only one copy because i don't want it also to be a case where i draw two of it and then obviously now i can't do anything with it now it is free if you got the salamander great structure deck so i think it's a great pickup if you did it back then uh, even now even if you pick it up now it's only 500 gems so it's actually a pretty benefit that you get that because obviously center mining is pretty good and of course math make enjoyers are enjoying this card because this pretty much is math make circular but they don't want to say it and yeah uh, we also have small world in here so it was also suggested by a viewer as well because uh, i always like to get inputs from everybody so i have nothing i'm not opposed to changing my decks there and there and yeah small world makes sense because as you can see i run a lot of variety in my deck my deck can search a lot of things and, and have a lot of bridges so for example if i have let's say a veiler or if i have another water monster that i don't want let's say i open double pascalis for some reason in my opening hand 
and I want to get rid of one Pascalus. So I can use Small World, I can bridge into June Moon, because June Moon is a water. It shares the same attributes with Pascalus. And this is a bridge to get another Marine Sets monster that I want. So I can get either Spring Girl or Blue Tang or whoever. Or I can get even a Ron, or I can get a Kaiju. I can get whatever. So there's quite a, quite a few bridges. I can also get Hand Traps, vice versa. So I can pretty much search anything I want, whatever I need, which is always nice to have. So that was a nice addition that I brought back. Because in the past, I used to play Small World before, but obviously I took it out because I wasn't seeing that much use for it. But then I saw now, okay, it does make sense. Then I also brought back in to protect the talent. Uh, of course, Thrust was always there, but now I put back in talent because that draw to effect or even taking control of a monster just to potentially go for game or look at the opponent's hand is, is an advantage in a matchup. So it does come up. Um, there's actually one duel where, like, I was playing against Arizard, and they, you know, Arizard activates all the time every time a card gets banished. So I was able to steal the Arizard, crash into the monster, and 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 obviously change the game from there. So a lot of things do impact, you know, when this card is in play. And of course, you can steal a Apollo USA. You can steal a lot of cards, so it's pretty good. Then. Other than that, the, the main deck list hasn't really changed. Like extra deck, it pretty much it hasn't been changed, right? It's the same. Uh, but I will say this. The MVP of the main deck, apart from the Marinces Monsters, is this card right here. This card is by single-handedly carried me to Master Rank, not because of it's a free special summon. This card puts in work. Like if for those who don't know what Kashiro Ogre does, it's a level 7 water monster where it, it's a Kashiro monster. So just like all Kashiro monsters, those big ones, they can search someone for free if there's no monster on the field. And you can search a trap, uh, which like it just does a lot of work. Like this against Labyrinth is just a nightmare for them. And any deck in general, because if, act if you activate a monster effect, you can pretty much look at your opponent's deck and snipe a, a key card face down and banish it. So banish face down means they can't interact with it. So if there's a one of potentially, you can get rid of it. And if you're doing it every turn, it's pretty much the, your opponent's going to run out of key card and they're like, oh, now they have to make alternative plays. So this card literally, one matchup you'll see, like I'm going to do the i got the replays and everything but there's one match against labyrinth specifically this card alone i didn't see any marines card i just saw kashira ogre and literally for like three four turns this card went through chaos angel went through uh lady labyrinth it even snapped the lovely in the deck and it banished your face down so they couldn't interact with the lovely they were going through all the engine and then at the end they ended up timing out because they were they kept on going kept on going to push 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 but i just kept on coming back I even use cross out designator to banish a second ogre and then bring it back to preparations because like it's just you know it's, I, I, I was just amazed that yo this this like the, the people really underestimate how powerful this engine like is because this card on its own can do a lot you know you activate a trap labyrinth up expecting traps i look at the opponent's hand i snipe something i snap their field spell i snap their medical punishment i start even I have so many key cards out of their hand. Every time they're using the trap effects, you know they love using the trap effects in the graveyard. It activates. It's pretty insane. So Cashier Ogre, like this card. If it wasn't for this card, I think most of my matchups would not be like in like would just be like okay dead. Because Marissa's on its own, yes, can handle stuff, but especially going through playing through disruptions and putting pressure on your opponent. That like, this card does so much. The same with ron adrian going into gimia like it just does so much like it, I, and, and, and i think now this is probably the best i can make marinsis at this stage now because i've taken the flaws of what it is and i've made it kind of my own and i've just added my own take on it and i think it's working and even against snake eyes against labyrinth against if, if i don't have that non-engine there I think I'll be struggling because remember we rely on normal summon first. So we don't want to obviously rely on normal summon all the time. We want to also play through other stuff, especially if you're going second, which most of the time I'm going second. And I think I have, I have a higher win rate going second versus going first. 
So it tells you that this this deck can go like even going second if you play your cards right, of course. So I'm pretty happy with the results of this deck. Uh, do you think of adding the Ice Bear Trap to Search Drew Moon or Kaiju on Grave? Um, I'm thinking about it. It's an option. But if I'm going to run the Ice, Barrier, the Ice Barrier Trap, I need to add a card called Foolish Burial Goods. That will be the only thing I'll need to add because that will be a free search, basically. Um, which can search anything. Like, 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 like you're saying now, I could literally search any... Uh, level five or higher water and then even get a monster back from recursion i don't even have to even add back the monster that i send so again it can be an option in the future but right now there's literally okay i would say this right there was a duel where i had three pascalis in my opening hand three i was like another reason why i only played two i was like let me just run three because obviously we're maxing out you know consistency and everything so I had three press guys, but fortunately I had a small world. So I was able to bridge into a blue tank. So I was okay from there. Um, so definitely if I could, maybe I could cut a Pascalis and I can put footage bearable goods in, I can do that definitely. Uh, but right now, like I said, the, the deck for some reason is just working as it's supposed to work. I mean, going first, going second, I'm, I'm, I feel very comfortable going into boards. As much as there's a lot going on in the graveyard and that people's hand traps, you know, the usual, this, this deck can do. However, it's not to say take this deck and play it yourself, because you'll notice extra deck, for example, there's no splash mage here. So that's one thing you'll notice from the standard Marincess deck versus mine. There's no splash mage here because splash mage has that restriction of if you summon it, you've used its effect basically, you locked into cybers for the rest of the turn. And I, I don't want to have that thing of, okay, I'm locked into a certain um, type. I want to make sure I'm, I'm just locked into water monsters only because pretty much water monsters, our entire deck story, pretty fine there. But I don't want to go into, uh, you know, Splash Mage because that means I'm, I potentially cannot go into Zelantis. You know, Zelantis is a sea serpent. And you want to make sure you have this thing live at all times because if for some reason you want to go for a certain play, it doesn't work. Okay, let's go for the next one. You know, so that's one thing i would probably consider you know uh but but right now i i i also believe that you know um it, it is something that you have to always think about you know going second especially Zelantis is your main play it's not splash mage because remember at any point that can be disrupted and then that's it you know and then and remember because you've activated the effect you still lock into cybers so so it's true uh, yes, Zelantis and Ice Jade Synchro will not come back or can't be summoned. What do you mean by that? Um, is that off the effect of Zelantis? Is that... Are you saying they won't be able to come back? Why are you saying that they won't be able to come back? Oh, yeah. Can't, it can't be summoned. Yes, that is that, that is true. Um, if you use Splash Mage, you don't have access to Gimea. You don't have access to Zelantis if you use Splash Mage effect. Uh, so that's why you see, yeah, okay, I, I I get what you're saying. So that's what I'm saying. You don't want to make sure you have, you don't know, you don't know also lock yourself out. So you want to have that flexibility of okay, I can summon water monsters whenever I want. If one play doesn't work, you go from there. Um, th th there was also a duel with Labyrinth. I I remember very like very clearly. I was going first, fine, and then he obviously sets five. It's got is his turn, and then on turn three, he's doing all his plays. There was like five plus disruptions, transaction rollback, the rumor comic cannon, uh, even a Modora shuffling cards, and we still play through all of that, and we still end up winning the game. So it just goes to show you how resilient this deck is, even against Snake Eyes. Also, obviously with Snake Eyes, you must just be careful as to how the matchup is, because of course they can also draw nice, and you can also draw bad at the same time. But you just have to play through it and see. Um, and sometimes your opponent can also just time out. Then you're also just lucky. Or oh, connection fail. That also works. But most of the time, it's not because of that. It's because you're actually out, outplaying your opponent. Uh, and you saw in that duel now with uh, Labyrinth and Snake Eyes. You saw the Snake Eye player was... They thought they were outgrinding the, the Labyrinth player. But they just kept on going. They kept on going. They kept on going. So you're just going to push until 
there's nothing left so yeah i'm happy with the performance like i'm saying uh but yeah it's just it's one of those things that you have to just um you know think about when a deck build you gotta know how your deck works and i know the synergy with this deck it definitely works every every card here in this deck has its purpose obviously if it's a dead card in your hand yes but at some point it'll be it will be a purpose so yeah if you add foolish um very uh foolish barrel goods and ice barrier what cards would you replace i'll definitely okay let's see if i had to replace i would definitely cut drawn lockbird um because i think two is a bit too much if, if if i had to cut you know i would cut that and i would cut a pascalis then i have two slots for burial goods and ice barrier ice barrier yes ice barrier that, that that's how i would do it if i had to incorporate those in but uh yeah that's what i would do because as you can see it doesn't really impact the deck too much because remember draw is draw right you, you you have it or you don't have it that's fine and yeah foolish barrel, foolish barrel good can come up we lock ourselves into water monsters that's fine it's a free surge literally uh so yeah we can actually even try it like this now actually if you want we can even play some games with this and you can see if, there, if there's a difference or not then you can just see uh then that's also an option you want to do that so we can even try it like this or we can just go for the same thing that we we're doing before but just to show people that you know you can freely change two pascalis doesn't make a difference with three it's though i will say this though having three opens up for call by the grave because now you want to use a graveyard effect to recur a spell and trap from your graveyard it is called by the grave they can just banish it and then that's it so normally if there's only one pascalis it's okay because they can't call by the grave but now if there's another one then you prone to call by the grave which did come up in my one duel so that is fine uh if you don't mind yeah uh, like i said i'm literally willing to try it now because like i said we're already in master rank so everything from this point is whether we go further or we we just you know we we kind of not go too hard because obviously now we're not pushing for another another higher tier obviously master rank one is what we're gonna go now for but even if we lose or whatever we just derank we still stay within master so i wouldn't really mind changing up so we can try it out for today we can try the ice barrier package let's see foolish barrel, foolish, uh, fair, uh, foolish barrel goods and yeah we can see what happens it's also a good uh, disruption going second negates your opponent's monsters effect and of change attack to zero uh but yeah if much as a foolish barrier is also to search dive or bad ocean that is true that's true but then again we also have thrust as well you know uh but um thrust can also get you your dive your wave you can get you anything so if they for some reason negate your core enemy or some way and you don't have any other players and you have a thrust you can literally just set wave and then you're good so we have multiple ways we can try that okay uh what else is here hey not a master thing but have you seen the tcg april ban list ban list ban list Wait, Master Duel Banners or TCD Banners? Hold on. Banners. Let me check you on this website quickly. I'm on the Master Duel the website. Is there, is there an article for a Banners? I know OCG had their Banners a while back. Uh, Master Duel had theirs already implemented for last month. Uh, let me check. Oh, there actually is. Okay. I haven't seen the full okay is there anything good in that bands we're talking about because i think right now in both in all metas the snake eyes deck is probably the best deck performing at the moment so yeah that is um you know what i can think about so if anything if, they, if you're talking about a band there's no ntcg there's probably something about snake eyes in there so something should at least be limited or restricted because they, they shouldn't have so much advantages like that i mean literally the best deck uh, let's check something quickly uh, let me see if i can open up 
let's see if I can open up the website. Uh, let's see. Oh, right here. Ban list. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Guys, have a look at this. Hope you can see on the screen. I just I just opened it up now. Just from the bottom down, just this is the ban list. Um Yeah. Um interesting. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so there we so for those who want to know, we're already in master rank already. So we now have to enter it. We're already in it. Because I entered it this morning. Um our rank game was against Curly. Um they I they didn't draw anything nice on their turn and I had Kester Ogre and then turn three I had combo for game, so that was very easy, but yeah. The the the, the journey before that was a bit tough, but yeah. Anyway, let's look at this ban list, guys. TCG banners. So effective 15th April north america and yeah um interesting okay so unlimits let's see if there's any anything nice here uh mobilize engage um that's pretty good um mobilize engage to three i mean ocg has it at three we have it at three or oh, we have it at two actually so um mean bandless but it's real I need to touch around the floor. We're gonna to get to that. Let's see. Um okay, I don't know. Uh mobilize engage. Okay, that's okay. We have it at two still, but I mean every other format has it at three. It's not really doing much. So I mean, please make it to three. So you can help sky tracker players. Though then again, it's a strong engine, so maybe that's why I don't want to do anything. Terra top. I mean, this is already at three, not doing much. Top or are we okay? Okay, this is a big one though. Uh, Destiny Hero Malicious. This is a huge one, actually. So now you have a third copy of Malicious. So hero players can further extend. That's nice. Good for hero players. I think for us, we'll probably keep keep it at two still, but yeah. Good. Purely Delicious Memory back to two again. So it seems like we are the only format that has it at one. Uh, is that fair, though? Is purely do anything the TCG? Don't think so, but okay. Armageddon Knight. Okay. Um Okay. Semi-limited, but it's unlimited for us and OCG, but okay. That's fine. Limited. Anti-spell fragrance. I wish they could do the same for us, make it make it distinct to one, or even straight out ban, because this is also just like kind of toxic as well. Uh, especially if you're not playing spells, like this is just like whatever. Chicken Endo is funny. This was actually banned in the TCG for a while, and now they all of a sudden bringing it back. Okay, doesn't really do much, but okay. I mean, it forces interaction. That's all I can say. Magic Spectre Kirin. I heard this card was pretty cracked though. Um, yeah, pretty insane. Yeah, you can see it's, it's still banned OCG, still banned by us. So TCG are opening up the, the floodgate and seeing, okay, what's going to happen with Kirin? If Kirin comes back with the magic sector support that's coming, I think it's going to be evident that they'll release everything slowly. Uh, Colossus, though. I mean, we've had it at one. Uh, it's not really doing, not dominating too much because Thunder Dragon is not really a prevalent deck, but it does come up, of course, as part of a combo deck or whatever. But TCG banned this card and now they're limiting it back? Okay. Alright, whatever. Tidal Dragon of the Waterfalls. I mean, this is at three in Master Duel. Not, nothing is happening. This card doesn't do anything. I mean, this is actually the better Dragon Ruler, but it doesn't do anything. So, yeah. Uh, did I update my rank to the website? Um, no, I think I just posted it. I, I think I posted the list in my in the discord i think that's all but yeah that I, I did upload my deck but yeah i think i uploaded it already but it's not on the site i don't know whatever uh protos though i mean 
it's funny because Master Duel has it at three. And then most people are only playing it at one or two anyway, so that's whatever. Uh there it also was banned before in TCG, so now they're bringing it back. Okay. Fine, so so kind of needs it there. Okay. Where are the bands? Oh boy. Yeah, so here's the thing, right? Summon limit. I'm happy with this because this is also very toxic as well. Uh not just in like like this is not just standex playing it even labyrinth is, is also playing this as well because you know they don't special summon as much as well so this needs to be this needs to go uh if not limited yeah this needs to be banned so i'm happy with that but now these three cards borrowload savage okay baron de fleur oh, okay a, a, a bit of a surprise but okay and then link Karibo. Think Karibo. Mm -mm. You see, I won't lie. Uh, these two, I can kind of see why, you know. But the thing is, why only now, you know? Why only now ban Baron de Fleur and Borrowload Savage? Is it really just because of Snake Eyes? Let's be honest, guys. Is it really because of Snake Eyes? Because Snake Eyes wasn't using Baron de Fleur and Boros of Savage Dragon most of the time. We're thinking about Cash Terror format. Baron the Flow was used. Tillamon format. Both those cards were used. Baron the Flow was even used in Sword Soul back in the day. So why only ban why ban this card now? Like why are they only realizing, okay, we need to kill this card now? Is because Snake Eyes are easily able to summon it on their turn two very easily is that why because of jet synchron why don't you just ban jet synchron then they won't even be able to do this you, 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 do you see what's happening here you're not addressing the problem card the problem card actually is not baron de fleur it's the way to summon it remember with tillament what was the problem with tillament um there used to summon nature exterior very easily because of one card cyberstein so nerfing banning cyberstein was the, was the correct play because it did not it allowed them to go into such card you know like why must they take away uh i mean yes the argument is they are generic extra deck monsters okay fine no problem generic one tuna non tuna monster okay borrowed savage dragon to be fair, also could have an errata as well, where it could say one tuna plus non tuna dragon monsters, then it'll be balanced. Fine, no one able to use it. Fine, Ronda Fleur, I think the same also. You know, but then again, if you're gonna errata the synchro materials, what are you gonna make it? One tuna plus non tuna warrior monster or one warrior tuna? How, how are you gonna make this balance? How? I mean, when they designed the card, they didn't understand that it was gonna be that meta impactful. And I mean, same with Borderlord Savage, right? like the fact that it also synergizes with link monsters just makes it even more broken uh you could have up to six negates potentially on it because obviously link six is the highest that you can get so if they're saying it's too generic why didn't they ban these cards early because telemet was abusing it kashira was ab abusing Bron de fleur now snake eyes is abusing it so now they're banning it now that doesn't make sense to me because i feel like you're just not addressing the problem cards the only reason why Snake Eyes is able to make Brown the Fleur is because of Jet Synchron going into Formula Synchron, then Formula Synchron going into Brown the Fleur. So you ban Jet Synchron. You know, there's a reason why Jet Synchron was banned before because it enables so many things. You know? But then again, at the same time, you know, Borlord, Savage Dragon, and Snake Eyes, it's Diabell Star and Jet Synchron. Again, can you see what the problem card is? jet synchron you see this is how you make a band list you don't you don't just attack the, the 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 actual end card you look at the cards that get to it because we know what the how these cards are made and the common denominator is jet synchron so why don't you just ban jet synchron then they won't be able to make Barolo savage don't be able to make ronda fleur you know that would be the simple case and everyone would be more than happy you know because remember at the cost of what okay cool they're too generic but at the cost of what you know decks that actually are playing it you know to kind of like 
you know, playthroughs up. I mean, to you, you say, oh, but now everybody uses it. Right? But not every deck has the luxury of not having like no restrictions, you know? We don't have, we have restrictions. We could play Bron de Fleur. We would love to play Bron de Fleur in our water deck with uh, Ice J Tuna discard to make level 10. That card is balanced because it says you can you cannot summon water monsters from the extra deck. So in a way, it's it's balanced. You, you only have two targets, Gamir and Chang Ying. And that for me is not broken because it's literally balanced. Because you put a restriction on, okay, yes, while that token's on the field, you cannot summon anything but water monsters from the extra deck. Simple. Or, 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 or for that turn, except for water monsters while it's on the field. Why are you complaining about Ice Jake Gamir? Because that is not easily summonable compared to Bron the Fleur. Let's be honest now. If you're going to ban Gamir, then you might as well just ban all the cards then. You know, because that is not easy to summon. It literally says one water tuner plus one non tuner. So, and it's and the fact that there's a restriction on the Ice Jade um, Tuna uh, card, the level seven, there's literally a restriction that says you cannot summon from next year except for water monsters. It's, it's, it's unlike um, Sword Soul, where it says you cannot summon for the rest of the turn except for Synchro monsters while that token's on the field. So, there, that's a difference between that card and, let's say, Long Yang or Mo Ye. They say Synchro monsters. So, they can summon anything, which that in, in, in itself is kind of broken because you can literally just summon Warlord Savage if you wanted to. You can literally summon uh, level 12, level 8, level 10, whatever you want. And remember, Soto was using Bron de Fleur. Why was why didn't they ban Bron de Fleur then? You know? Soto at one point was very good. Broken, especially with Protoss around. Very broken. You know? But it, the argument you'll say, yeah, they're generic. Okay, fine. But how many formats have we had where the same old decks have been using it and they never said okay let's ban these cards you know it took them in tier format Bron the floor was being made um in sort of when, when sort was the thing Bron was being played you know um i think so 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 we'll just switch to gamir yeah i mean if, if, if anything it just incentivizes sword so to play Cheng Ying and gamir now it, it just makes sense you know and and, uh, and I think for them, you know, given that they like banishing everything, it actually helps them actually. Because I, I I feel like Gamir is a better card. I would I would argue it's a better card than Bron. Because let's be honest, Bron the Fleur's only good thing is Omni Negate and popping a card on the field. But that's the only thing people like is the Omni Negate. That's really it. As for the destruction on the, the on the field i mean that can be literally mitigated by you being unaffected which gamir gives you that protection anyway and i feel like that's much better and also you can get rid of it immediately you know so it's not like bron de fleur is invincible you know because only once on the field while it's active while it's on the field you can activate so like come on you know yeah i think gamir in the long run is better it's a better card i i think it's a better card but again it's not popular in every deck so i feel like it's balanced in that way so only certain decks in common but nonetheless right link karibo so it's also generic right level one monster one level one monster okay obviously we we know what the culprit of this one is it's because of snake eyes because snake eyes run level ones right so was this card really a problem if you, if you look at in hindsight, what did this card actually do? Well, when it, when a monster declares an attack, you can tribute this card, change the opponent's attack to zero. Okay, fine. So it protects your monsters that you summon, your Barons, your Appaloosas, your whatever. It protects them from being destroyed, right? Because your biggest monster will have zero. Then, in the same time, while this card's in your graveyard, you can tribute a level one monster, special summon this card. This dodges Imperm, Valor, anything that targets level ones. So the question is, was Snake Eyes only using this card? Uh, no, a lot of decks were using this card that can then run level ones. But again, why does Link Karibu have to suffer for the sins of Snake Eyes? You know, it, I feel like it's a similar thing to Master Duel when Foolish Burial Goods got limited to one because of tier limits. Good cards got limited 
like like the king of the swamp why was king of the swamp even restricted for limited to one it didn't make sense you know so i feel like these banners they're not they they have to actually explain you know at least the only the only um banners that actually explain why they do things if it is actually duel links duel links if you if you look at duel links over time when they make banners they know why they're doing it because they can say oh this is a meta game impact this is going to reduce consistency this is going to do because duel links is all about skills if skills are broken it can be abused with certain stuff so they have to nerf the skill so that obviously they have to put restrictions because you see all it takes is putting restrictions on cards or on in duel links in duel links case skills if skills are eroded then then it's balanced because you can only summon specific type of monsters from your extra deck or main deck monsters and so on and you only can use once per duel or twice per duel something like that like put restrictions on it then at least it's not so broken but in these formats it's a bit different they, but they don't explain why they hit the cards because we know we all know especially in the tcg they love promoting the new cards and those cards are expensive right I think the Snake Eye stuff just came out recently, you know, um, like the the new support we're talking about, like all the stuff, like and obviously now with all the other extra deck cards that are also kind of expensive, they're just promoting those cards to say, okay, look, we want you to play Snake Eyes, but at the same time, we're not banning the cards that actually cause, you know, the issues. Why don't you restrict Snake Eye Ash? Why don't you ban original Sinful Spoils? You know, why don't you limit Wanted like OCG? OCG limited Wanted. To not get the Diablo star consistency, you know, stuff like that. At least hurt the deck a little bit, because to be honest, you think Nika is gonna destroy their their plays? Not really, because you can kind of still do combos without Nika Rebo, which is that now obviously you're more prone now to Vela, Imperm, those type of things, you know. So honestly, it doesn't really affect anything. In, in anything, actually uh gives them an extra deck slot because now they can play something else that can potentially counter the meta now so yeah i don't know but i feel like again these two cards here okay you can argue they're generic yes but the problem card was jet synchron get rid of jet synchron because it's level one it's a fire so it's obviously good in snake eyes if you ban that card they don't summon those monsters simple it's a simple thing guys it's not rocket science but i don't know tcg they just they always want to do something different and i don't know why but hey if they decided baron is a problem ban it okay if they decided burrow or savage ban it next thing they're gonna say appalooza should be should be banned also because it's generic i'm like okay then ban all the generic cards and access code talker should be banned all those things Let's ban those rather since they're all generic. Let's let's ban those generic cards. You know? But Konami doesn't seem to listen and learn from their own mistakes. They keep making cards without restrictions. Because I promise you, Snake Eyes just needs restrictions to say, okay, if you activate this, you cannot summon for the rest of the turn except let's say fire monsters. Then they will not be able to do this. Oh yeah, the Link 5 as well. Link 5, okay every deck like snake eyes can play link five tillerman plays link five like okay two prevalent decks which are effectively tier zero decks you know obviously tillerman is slightly better because they're just beyond broken but even with them there was no restrictions that's the difference if those at least castura you can say to an extent it's kind of restricted because exceeds monsters is what they can really do but not really because they can play around it. The certain cards locked them out of Xyz. Tillerman, they did not. They could fuse. They could they could synchro. They could link. Uh, if 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 you can go back to the previous stream, we were ranking up to di to, to 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 diamond rank, right? We lost the rank again because of a psychic and punisher in a Tillerman deck. There's no way Tillerman should have access to that, you know. But no. It's not balanced because there's no restrictions on what they can and what they can't do. So I feel like they're arguably banning the wrong cards. I'm just saying.
But hey, if it's if if if, if, if they think it's for the sake of game balance, let it be. Uh, but honestly, I think the worst card in this ban list is probably Link Karibo. That's all I'm saying. Because this doesn't really fundamentally affect the combos directly. It just means now they just have... They, they, there's, there's now means to actually now you can attack the monster that you want to attack. Not without the thing of making it zero attack. So you can crash into Appaloosa, you can crash into whatever. They also have access to this. You know what to be a real, a real ban? If they really wanted to put them in their place, let them ban Mascarina. Ooh, that will shake up things a lot. Imagine if Mascarina is banned. Like, a lot of decks can't do anything. Especially Snake Eyes. They can't do anything because they main play is Mascarina. Then they go in, Mascarina going to Little Knight in TCG. Or if it's Masterdu, going to Appaloosa. That's it. Or going to Unicorn or going to something. You know, something generic. Again. Going to going to Apple, uh, Link Five Goddess, generic. If they ban Mascarina, that would be perfect. But no, they won't do that. But hey, that's my thoughts on the ban list. Uh, you can let me know in the comments or in the chat what you think about that. But yeah, I think the ban list is a bit weird. I mean, it's funny because no one really cares about the limited, the semi-limited, and the unlimited. I think they're just okay. But the forbidden just doesn't make sense, except for summon limit. Summon limit is the only thing that was correct. Like the only thing that was correct, you know. But yeah, I don't know. In TCG, I don't know how the players are going to feel now because obviously everyone's playing Snake Eyes there. So we'll see how the the combos change up. And obviously now they lose Baron, they lose Boro Load. Okay, fine. They'll just play something else. Again, they just bring up more extra exhaust for them. They're probably going to play now Celine Access Code. Who knows? You know? But uh, yeah, that is that is the ban list. Let's not digress on that. That is obviously TCG doesn't really impact Masterdoo too much. Though, OCG might be taking notes for the next time. So we'll see. Uh, all right. Anyway. Let us go into some games. The link to that band's cards. Which one is that? What is which which card is that? Is that SP Little Knight? Oh it was OCG! They they also were funny. They're like SP Little Knight to two. Like that does anything. Because who's running SP Little Knight to three? Ooh. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Main phase one. Rescue Ace. Okay. Rescue Ace Fire Attack. I don't remember this card being played in Rescue Ace. Oh, if a card is added to your... Interesting. Rescue Ace, dude. For those who don't know... We know who play Rescue Ace. Are these... Is this a common card? This fire attacker? Ooh. Emergency. Probably the most broken card in Rescue Ace. Summons, um... Hydrant? Okay, so I need to do this. Okay, no. He's gonna have two Rescue uh, cards anyway, so... It doesn't really matter. Wait, hold on. No, it doesn't matter because he's going to link off with these and then you will still get two in the grave. So, honestly speaking, there's no real way of stopping Rescue Ace um, Turbulence from being summoned here. But let's just see. He just needs Banners 2 and then that's it. Because he can just link off those two and then that's it. So, it doesn't really doesn't really make a difference because you can banish two there and get two in the grave so yeah so turbulence is probably one of the most broken cards to exist because it literally sets four cards and they're quite good cards and for literally free so avoiding drawing lockbird avoiding ash it just the only way to beat that card is imperm and Vela. 
literally it or gamma as well gamma can also negate if you have it in your hand obviously but yeah the set four classic rescue ace this is pretty much how they play it's like a control deck pretty much they don't really have an extra deck but yeah wouldn't it be cool if rescue ace gets a link monster yeah i would i would think so i mean i'm surprised they don't really have any extra deck support at all um I mean, same, the same would argue uh, for Snake Eyes as well. There's also no direct support for them um, in the extra deck. It's just obviously main deck. So, interesting. Preventer. Preventer is a f Book of Moon in a way. Rescue Ace. Okay. I don't get this guy's profile. This guy has a he has a he has an emblem for bronze. Hmm. Interesting. For Julius Cup. For March. Oh, speaking of Link Rebo, the banned card in TCG. Can you believe you're actually saying that? Banned in the TCG. You love to see it. Dokus, this seems to be in the FTK. What's going on here? Yeah, it's been a SP little knight. Yeah, that's uh, that's a card and a half. Yeah, that card is way too good. But then again, what 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 isn't good extra deck cards nowadays? I mean, look, you got SP little knight. You got Typhon, which is like basically the Zeus, the opposite of Zeus, which is just also cracked as well. Any 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 deck can literally play it. And it can be summoned literally any with one monster. Like now, I'll be able to summon Typhon right now in my turn too, if there was something, but yeah. It's just like crazy, you know. Oh, is that what they went into Reprodo? Because I'm like, wow, it's so generic though. Like, why would they do that just for the fire? Hmm. Okay. And then also Promethean Princess also just like makes fire decks great. I feel like we need something like this for, for water. Like, I don't care what it is. If we have something like this, oh, this will just be great. Because this literally just allows for extension, literally. Like, for, if, if fire decks didn't have this, the fire won't be a thing. Literally, it won't be a thing. Yeah, Salaman great plays this because it's broken, like, literally. Imagine if this was like a similar card, but for water monsters. Ooh. Jeez, the combos we could do is like crazy. And the fact that this card is also generic, it doesn't even say two effect monsters, it just says, it, it, no, it doesn't even say fire monsters, it just says two effect monsters. That must be linked three of course, it's just like even more broken. So here's the thing, end phase, if you have DD Crow in your hand, just get rid of the Promethean, just get rid of it, just get rid of it. They have to use Core by now, and that's it, exactly, so then that play is done, so we can actually like, forget about the graveyard now. Spring Girl, okay, Spring Girl. Yeah, I have DD Crow to ban anything I want. Removing from the game. Okay, so let me put it on this side. All my links to be empty. So Kashiro is going to start off first. He's probably going to book of Moon there, which is fine. Yep. You see, we are literally playing through disruptions. Literally, that's one, right? We also have the other ones here, which we'll see. Uh, let's go into blue tang again we're just gonna play through disruptions as if nothing happened so
so there's a card that they have that can prevent the monster from not being used for link material. If I'm not mistaken, this is gonna just negate the effect and then that's it. Oh, Maxi! Love to see it. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised actually at this stage. Maxi. Okay. Um, let's just send Vaselima, yeah? To get that protection of Contain. Um, so, here's the thing. We go full. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is I think this is better because we have an open zone. So if anything happens to our if we can't use this for link material, we can, you know, get something out of it. No, let's not activate. Because we want to make sure we banish this the the blue tank for follow-up. There we go. Target effect my opponent controls negate the effects. What? Okay, so if you control rescue on target effect my opponent controls, destroy it. Then if you're if you currently control rescue it, hydrant, see it says then. So it means if you do not destroy it, it means it will not work. Here we go. So the effect is not going to work because, ooh. Ooh. Okay. Options. Get yeah, Battle Ocean. Okay. Um, uh, bit random to use Extinguish now, but okay. Very random. Wait, what? Fire attacker? What are you doing? If you add a card to your opponent's hand, except by drawing it, draw two and discard one card, but you have a max C, so... How is that working out? Wait, what? Lombridge, it's pretty much a brick for you. Anyway, um... Ooh, actually... Actually, we could actually do this, hold on. If, 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 if we do this correctly... I have to have the field spell, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, put it here. I mean, the worst thing that can happen to us we lose in the Guru, and that's totally fine because this board is pretty cracked, I would say. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Um, gonna. Actually, you no, know, I need to, yeah, I need to, I need to, I'm going to do this now. Um, yeah, I think, activate this now. Yeah, let's, let, let's, let's, let's try and push for getting dive in. Then we can do something at least. I forgot, what did he say? I can actually go and check quickly because I have some time. What did he set? Quickly, I just want to see what he set. Rescue alert. Alert is going to target a monster added to the hand. That's not relevant. Oh. Oh. Okay. So that's actually contain now. So contain says we cannot. We can negate the effect, and it cannot be used for a. Link material this turn. Okay. So it's kind of unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. The last thing has alert. Alert can't do anything. So we can still use this one. But now we can't use this for material. Which is unfortunate, but it's okay. Um Let's see what you can do here. He probably has hand traps now, which is also like whatever. Um, 
I see that's the thing. I can only go into Core and Enemy because now I can't further link off because of the restriction here. It's fine. Uh, no, Marble Rock, I, I can't use Marble Rock because I can't go into a link three um, this turn because now I can't use this card as a link for a link material. I mean, I can do Crystal Art, but I don't have, I don't have a. Um, It's not going to be useful, actually. Because I don't have a Marine Cess name in my hand, so therefore it's going to die next turn anyway. Even though it's unaffected from Monster Effect, it's not going to really... Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So he has alert. That's the last card that he has. Yes, it can get back seals, but I still can't link. The idea is I still cannot link, even if I get back. Even if I get back seals, the fact that I cannot link is still an issue. Oh, wait, do I have? You see, if I had. Yeah, I think. At this point, not really anything relevant here. Okay. Because um, unfortunately, I can't go into further links now. I can only make now link two, and then that's it. But then I can only go into core and enemy. I can't go into anything else because this is not allowed to be used as a link material. So the idea would have been go into go into marble, go into coral triangle. Because I'll get a, a Marinsis card back. I'll pitch the barrier statue, get wave, summon back the statue, or the summon back seals, go to link four, go into Zelantis, board wipe, get my catcher ogre back on field, search the trap, carry on, and then be good from there. That would literally what it would have done. But we can't do that right now, so let's see what they can do. Okay, I'm gonna try and target a monster in our grave if they'll know. They'll just target their own. Okay, lift up. Smart, but probably gonna add the rescue SHQ. Probably. Yeah. I mean like I know rescue race as much as you people as much as people think that I don't know rescue race, I know rescue race how they play. Because their main play turn one, turbulence set four, plan the opponent's turn, do a like a control type of thing, then turn three, try and go for game. That's pretty much it. It's kind of like Infernoble, right? When they go turn one, summon Emperor Charles the Great times to Baron the Fleur. Oh, another band monster in TCG. Uh, and yeah, and obviously look at this recursion that Rescue Race gets. Like, that's just great. If they summon Turbulence again, they'll just reset all those cards again. How nice is that? Because Rescue Ace is balanced. There we go, look at that. Very balanced. This rescue race basically wins going going first essentially because if, if they resolve turbulence that's like their branded fusion that's their martha that's their so many like you know when that one card is like your main combo play that's what it is so that's just literally it for them set four for free and i'm like wow that's a great deck concept I actually I, the, the deck is actually a nice deck to play it's just that obviously now, because they don't have extra deck per se for them, they can just play whatever they want. Similar to um, Vanquish Soul. Vanquish Soul only has one Link Monster and that's it. But other than that, they can play whatever they want. So, yeah.
Yeah. Should have they should have gained now or they don't I don't know. I think they do. How much damage is this? Oh, and this card is just cracked. This impulse is like insane. Look at that now. So he targeted an enemy, which means if it goes to the graveyard, I cannot activate that effect this turn, basically. Well, on the field that is, but let's see. Okay. Let's see what happens. If I can, I don't know if I can activate this in the graveyard because it says on the field though. On the field this turn, so it's like a skill drain, but skill drain doesn't negate graveyard. Yeah, you can still activate this. Uh, doesn't really matter what I get. I think I kind of lost anyway. I think. Do they have game though? That's a question. Do they have game? Because they they don't. I think they. I think they should have. Who hasn't attacked yet? Oh, Link! Wow. Link Karibo, guys. Look at that. Link Karibo. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, I will say this, though. I will say this. TCG at least got one card right, which was Fairy Tail Snow. Because it basically does the same thing what Karibo is doing. It did, the difference is it just banishes cards from your grave, which is and hand and field, which is just cracked. No, 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 no watch per turn, just continuously doing that, and then yeah. But yeah, that's what's great. And that, look at it, it, it's just them going first, resolving turbulence, they win the game. Not all the time, though. Even in match, they lose to it. They're not invincible, but yeah. We could obviously do better there, but hey. It wasn't an easy thing for them. I think that's the the thing. It's not like oh, it's a white, it's a board white copy. Like obviously, I had to I had to play through a lot just to get there. And obviously, for them to use resources is like that. Hey, nice to see starter and end the limbus might just suffer from this droll. Ah, uh -uh. troll and Lockford. Done. The troll is gonna. Wow. They can't draw any more cards. They have to play what they have. Is enemy on? They can definitely play through it. If they if they activate uh, the link to the metaphors, electromites. Oh come on, really? Look at you. Why do they always have talents though? Like why do they always have talents? New tank, okay. It's fine. I'll just get another Marinsis monster. It's fine. Oof, wow. Shut the whole turn was shut down. Oh! oh. <laughs> they were so salty because they knew, okay, my hand is going. So I'm like, let me just snipe a card and then that's it because I'm out. Into the void. As much as it's a great card, it's not. Bro, that is just like, oh, wow. That's what I'm saying. Clearly, you should not be running cards like this because now look, you have discarded your entire hand. Look, you even discarded eight desires. He didn't even use the, he didn't even, okay, well, to be fair, he couldn't use desires because you can't add cards for the rest of the turn. But, wow. You forgot that this has a, this has a downside. During the end phase of this turn, discard your entire hand. That's literally the, the biggest drawback. I mean, it's nice, but it's not. But And remember, one thing about Endymion, it's literally a draw engine. So John Lockwood kills it completely. Because all they want to do is, is, is resolve 
spell counters. And then once you have enough spell counters, then you can start doing stuff. If you draw a lockbird, kills them. And in this case, into the void, done. Because I could have waited. Most people would wait. I'm like, don't wait. The first thing they add, draw, and they're done. But it was funny because if they snap talents, okay, they, they bring blue tank. Most of the time, you know, when triple tank talent shuffles a card into the deck, it actually just comes back like, oh, I have another one. Okay, I have uh, this, the exact same card you shuffled in, it comes back to my hand. So didn't really accomplish anything. And obviously now they have no, nothing to play. So, I mean, they saw had an ogre, dark no more. I mean, was it really a contest? I mean, let's be honest. Even if they had a full combo, the fact that dark ruler was there, you know, because who knows? They could have, they could have, they could have done something. I don't know. If they could have done something, but it's funny. Very, very funny. Um, let me check what they play just for the sake of it. Because I just want to know. Yeah, can you see? Look at this. Literally a 20 card draw engine. 20 cards. Because it's just to resolve spell counters. And then they start going off crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. But like all of this is just draw. So definitely the first thing you see, draw. Because you know what I would have done? I would have actually waited for, you know, them to use into the void and then that's it but look at officer goblin uh part of desires and and the one thing about the drawback also about this deck don't play hand traps so that's it they they they're very this this, this deck is very weak to hand traps specifically drawn awkward so that's why you're writing it so yeah it's a, it's, a, it's 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 a crazy deck so yeah, if it if it if it resolves, then yeah, it's just it's just drawing the entire deck and then it's just playing from there. That's it, literally. So yeah, it's kind of annoying, but again, it's it's just the design of how the cards are. So if they benefit from it, they benefit from it. So I'm not doing anything about that. Oh, the draw phase. I got Marines' names. I've got hand traps. Okay. Let's see. What are you playing? Ooh. Bonfire. That means they're playing Snake Eyes. Okay. So let's see. This is going to add popular. Popular is going to add Spirit of Summon itself. Yes. And we can drop the max C. If they have a core by the way, just use it now. Perfect because I waited. Because the veil is gonna come. So it's fine. It's totally fine. It's fine. Yeah, I could have valued the ash, but there's a reason why. Because this will at least know that okay, they won't get the field spell, so they won't be like crazy follow-up. And they also won't get simple spoils or the field spell if they already have it already. And they said double code. Oh okay. So either way, we were ready. Cross South and Cold by. I feel like that's just like the most toxic combo. Do, 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 do you guys remember? If for those who were playing uh, Master Duel in the beginning of the game, when Cross South Designator was at three, which meant going first was like, you were guaranteed to finish your combo no matter what, because you always had a Cross South most of the time. And it was just so crazy, especially Sword Soul. They were always going, always having Cross South. Like, no matter what you did, turn one, was just way too broken then they nerfed it so now they said okay making turn two a bit better but yeah it, it, it's a one-off but yet you still see it often that's that's crazy you know ah link karibo nice to see you again
Nice to see you again, yes. And so this is... Now the DD crew. There's two uses, right? You either wait for Mascarino or you wait for Flambridge. Now, why do you wait for Flambridge? Because there will be no follow-up to equip the Mascarina into the back row. That's why you do it. So just have a Promethean only. So that play I found sometimes it hurts them a little bit. So yeah. And you notice that they're keeping the Linkaruba on the field because they want to use it for the Oak. Oak is going to come now and then go into their plays from there. So the worst they can do is make a uh, they can make a palooza. That's so that's the best they can do, but that's it. I mean, we can literally we can literally beat over that if they go through what how many gates? Quite a few. So we'll see. So I'm gonna go oak into Flamberg. Flamberg's gonna link off into something, whatever, and that's it. Yeah. So this is so this is the masculine line that they're gonna do. So. How many level ones do they have? Okay, either way they're gonna have two. So you don't you don't you don't DD crow now, you just wait. Okay, Flambridge is out. They're gonna go into Mascarino. They'll get two level one fires. So we're actually gonna wait for the Mascarina play. Yeah. So I'm going to wait for when Masquerina is going to be in the grave. Then he wants to equip. I will not, then I, then I will literally just banish. Good Promethean, not really too worried about because we can play around that very easily. So not a big issue. Um, so yeah. Actually, it's actually a better play. When Promethean targets of one wants to summon a fire monster, we just don't give it Flambush Dragon. We'll just Masquerina, actually. I think that I think that I think that's gonna be better. In the long run, I think. Yeah, I think that's gonna be better in the long run. I think so. Because there'll, there'll, there'll be a, there'll be no choice for them to equip. So just get rid of the problem now. Yeah, Flambridge done. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so because obviously they want to summon Flamberge, then equip the Mascarina, but now they can't. So they can only make the Amber Whale and that's it. So this stops them from, you know, getting to level one fires as follow up when they use Prome when they use Promethean and, then, and that's it. What, level one fire? Okay. What are they gonna go into? What is this? Huh? Evil Tower, what? Level 6 or lower fire dinosaur monster. Evil Soul? What? Evil what? Evil Soul is who? Is this a snake idea? Whoa, okay guys, I'm not expecting this. This is this is something different. It, uh, evil Soul, okay. Do they want to make the negate for Lars? E evil Soul Lars. I think they want to go for that play. Ugh. Oh. I'm bubbled too. I wanna see where this I wanna see where this is, because I wanna see what the end board is gonna be. Wait, what? You can target a monster. Oh, you can you can send one reptile fire monster that I know. Then you can make two monsters on the same field, the same type and level. What? Just to make sprite elf? Really now? Is that is that what this deck can do? Wow. Evil Tau, evil, 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 so evil. Oh. 
Huh? Wow. I'm so confused, guys. Just as you are, I'm so confused also. This might be a new... <sighs> Ready now. Link or evil. Yeah, I mean, this is literally why this card is bad. I mean, look at it. Like, this is just like, okay. Huh. Ooh, race start. Perfect. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. He's got, he's got no maxi. Evil's all laws. What? Can he really summon laws? Wow. Okay, this is a... Okay, so this I didn't expect. This is actually a play here. Because he would have set the... Evatar from the... Oh, okay. Wow. So they held on to their original sinful spell. Okay. That's fine. I mean, if they negate this, that's fine. We just carry on playing. It's fine. Not a big issue. They only have two. They only have two negates. They only have two negates. They only have. They only have two negates. So we can literally. They, if they negate this, then they die. There's there's nothing else they can do. They can even negate the search or the dive or whatever. It's fine. What is this? Oh, Mascarina. Okay. So this is their player. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So you're telling me that this is what they were thinking about the whole time? Watch. Link 5. Link 5. Link 5? I mean, they have enough material, they can just steal... Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, I lose. Okay, that's also fine too. Hmm. Uh, okay. So he has extra negates now because of that. And really, come on. Okay. Uh, okay. We have, we have to go into battle because we can't we can't play like this. It's just like whatever. Okay. So definitely, we can't play through this now. I mean, he has, like, yeah, he, he can't play through this. Because he has to use a second negate there, and then... So he chain block that one, but now he has to use laws now to negate this. So what's he going to do? Now he's deciding what he's going to negate now, really? It should be a no-brainer, right? Chain, negate this one. Then you have double negate, use it. Like, why is this guy not... Why is he thinking so hard? Mr. Exactly. Negate the spring girl. No!
No. Yes, he can summon the he can summon the princess. Yes, I'm a, I'm aware he can summon the princess. The fire monster is there. Yes, I'm I'm aware. So as a follower, uh, do I get ocean? No. It doesn't matter anyway. Actually, wait, it does. It does. It does. It does. Because he will just destroy it with this. Hmm. Interesting. So do I get field spell or do I get... Because if I get dive, you'll just... What is, what is the better follow-up? Because it's the better follow-up. Because you can just negate the field spell. Crystal Heart, yes, but remember the field spell will be. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I can dodge Princess, but then we still lose anyway because we have nothing in our hand and we want to. Yeah. Okay, well. You know what? Um. I'll tell you what, he doesn't have any plays really beyond... I mean, he can... Yes, he can summon Promethean. But... That's it, really. No Basilima as well, so we're kind of in a tight spot here. Because hmm. if you go Ocean, you'll just negate the Ocean. And then you'll just crash with this, so I don't want him to have... That advantage, though. Uh, but mm, actually, you know what? Let me let, let me take the, let me take dive. Let's see what's gonna happen here. So it's something you know. You see, the thing is, he knows. So whatever I summon, it doesn't really... Because he's just going to negate it anyway with the laws as well, so... Okay. Let's see if he's going to allow this. Let's see. Well, let's see if he's going to allow this or not. Uh, let's get this one. We're going to negate this one. Okay, that's fine. So that's used up. Um... Fine. Um, I won't lie, the Evil Zar play is kind of mind puzzling me also. Like, I, I did not expect that at all. Like, that just completely threw off. Okay, the Apple are fine, but that, I wasn't processing that at all. What is in his hand, though? Are you serious? This card can attach two materials? Wow. That's actually crazy. That is actually crazy. It literally has his negates back. It's on once per turn even as well. You can negate twice again. That's crazy. Wow. So, I think we all know who the real winner is here. It's not even Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes was dead. Snake Eyes lost completely, but Evil Zar is was the winner here, I think. They, yo, wow. They really surprised me here. And it's so weird because you don't see these type of decks. And, and, and I never... Really? Subversion now? Come on, dude, really? Come on. That's literally, that's literally what I was doing. Like, to tell you how to 
beat snake eyes with with your hand traps how to use them because remember we, we had he had cross out he had cobalt out the grave but he didn't have anything for dd crow so we're like, okay cool fine get rid of the flame birds so there's no follow-up because literally the only follow-up he would have had was summon appaloosa that's it but that we can deal with but because we'll obviously reduce its attack and then we just crash over with an enemy but the evils are play kind of oh okay and they just have deal bell star randomly okay okay so you just have endless plays clearly oh this definitely would have been a very different duel if it wasn't for the evils are and, and like i'm saying the snake eye player definitely I don't even know, mate. Like, it does it. I, I, I never saw this type of deck in, 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 in the climb at all. I was seeing like proper Castura engine, uh, all that other stuff, but not this. This is something unique. Dark Monsters. Okay, yeah, to them. Okay. Monsters, man. What? Why is something dark, though? Evils are. I didn't expect that. And by the way, they have a level one fire monster also. Just like by the way. So again, I think it's quite evident, right? If you want to ban a card that actually has a, you know, a meta impact, ban this, because this is a bridge to so many fire decks. If you have level one fire. That and and it, 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 you can summon it with this, then it's a problem, you know. And the fact that it also has a recursion of that uh, banishing itself and adding a level one fire back, basically for free. Okay. So I think that's their play. Go for the snake eye route, and then for some reason if it gets disrupted. Wow, you know how ironic that is. He's only running one flame bridge. He's only running one flame bridge. So actually, this is like his, his backup plan. His backup plan is the evil czar play. Because if he has bonfire, which he opened bonfire, I mean, he didn't normal summon, could have easily gone into his plays with evil czar and that's it. Because you know, he's play, he plays Dolka and he plays Laws. So you can literally choose what he wants. Wow, that's insane. Wow. Four and two, four and wow. Like this is basically the, the bridge between them. And look at all this generic, 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 generic. To be fair, also generic and generic. Like the whole extra deck is not even snake guys, but I'm not gonna complain, right? Because there is an extra deck for them. But hey, you see? As I'm saying, man, like I could literally just whip up a deck right now and then we'll see what happens if there's gonna be a difference or not. But let's see, hey. Going first, okay. Fine. Going first. Okay, but but look guys, we haven't drawn anything bad. We've actually had good hands. So obviously the opponent has an answer for everything. And that we can't do anything about it. Uh, let's see. Like, this is the third time I'm drawing Ogre. This is like, I'm saying, Ogre is the MVP. This card here. Yeah. I'm seeing it every time. Which is, which is good, you know? Because then at least. Okay, the trap. I we're good. Okay, then the one card combo starts. Um, literally starts here. I'm going to see we might lose in the bureau, which is also fine, but it is what it is. I think you'll be more surprised. People in Master Rank are actually way less chill than people in Diamond and Platinum. I don't know. That's just me. I've just noticed that. Because people are playing the most obscure decks. I mean, yes, not saying that the previous opponent was obscure, but I think it was quite unique, you know? 
I would say similar to how you know I'm playing Marines is quite unique. He's also playing Snake Eyes quite unique. So I'll give him his props for that. I won't lie. I'll give him his props for that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think he has Nibiru, so I think we can just be okay here. Yeah? yeah. Yeah, so this is literally one card combo. One card. Just seals alone gives me a link four with wave. I'm happy with that. Because I'm pretty sure um, you would achieve the same thing if you had Splash Made, I think. Or maybe a bit better. I don't know. Is, there, is, that, is that a better combo? Okay, so we got Seals and Grave. Get get Wave. So here's a nice thing, right? So because we have Kashira Ogre, that is Water Monster, we don't need to use Dive. We can use this for our follow up turn because obviously follow up is important. So we can literally just link off the Kashira Ogre. Why? Because we can revive it back or preparations. So it's literally we go one for one, which is nice. We set the trap over here, and that's it. So we also have Nibiru. If for some reason we we need to, we, we feel like we need to use it, we can use it because why? We also have Coral Triangle in the Graver follow up. So pretty good. December phase. So December phase. You would go here. You would banish Kashiro Ogre. See what happens. They can ash it, doesn't matter. Then we can go prep, bring it back. Now you're probably thinking, why are you shotgunning the preparations? Remember, you want to get that disruption live immediately. So that there's no like second guessing anything. And also you can pinch and look at his deck and snipe something. Yeah, that's key. Oh, Peter, and that's also nice for the follow-up, I guess. So we are unfortunately like God Runic. Wow. Huh? Why are you playing this card? What a duality. Huh? Oh my goodness. Dude, what is this? Of course, Runic Flash and Fire. Of course. Diddy Crow, okay, fine. He's probably gonna destroy this one. Which is not unfortunate because now uh, there's no monster on the field because he's not summoning anything this turn. Okay. What was that banished? Oh, okay. Runic Fit plays. Oh, come on, dude. Really now? Is he playing Runic Stan? Please tell me he's not playing Runic Stan because if he is, I'm going to be quite annoyed. Like, look at this. Set 5. Oh my goodness. That is definitely screaming. Um, He's playing oh 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 come on synchro zone okay not okay it's a trap card so yeah it's got something uh can you hear me whoa Just confirm if you can hear me, eh? Is it is it still not coming clear for you? But you can hear me just fine. Okay, good. No, I'm doing good. Uh, you just joined. Um, Synchro Zone, really now? 
Well, neither player can declare attacks except with synchro monsters. This is like... And there's a reason why they've made this card limited to one. But they should just ban the card. Just ban it. It's not, it's, it's not being used. I don't know. Now, here's the thing, right? I have two options. I'm going to go Ice Jade Ron. He's probably going to pop Rivalry of Warlords. I'm going to keep Aqua. That way, I cannot be destroyed by anything. Any, anything he chains, I can just banish it. So that's my that, that's my thinking. So let's try and do that. Worst case, we can revive Blue Tang or yeah, let's just 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 that stuff, whatever. Yeah. So if you, if it's rivalry, then it's fine. But if he also has. Come on, don't tell me I have something for this. Come on. What? What? Banish cards? Banish? Oh, come on, really? This can literally be my only out. Uh, wave and um ah, okay it's fine oh okay then we just win we just win right here whatever he chains now we just win so we should be good i think Goodness, solemn judgment. Are you kidding me? Like, why is this guy just getting rewarded? I don't understand this game because, like, clearly, like, the only out I had was this is to summon a synchro monster. Wow. If, if you are negated with Solemn Judgment, the monster was never summoned, therefore, it's not properly summoned, therefore, you cannot revive it off Gimea, unfortunately, because it wasn't prop it wasn't actually summoned on the field. So it's like the, the summon was negated. So, yeah. Let's see if he has a workaround for this. Let's see if we can avoid this. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 an unfortunate ruling because solemn judgment negates the actual summon. So if you if 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 like if if if, if I summon let's say an access code or something, it literally will will prompt you. Do you want to negate the summon? Yes. So therefore, it will go to the graveyard and it's like that. It was never summoned at all. So it's as if you, you send it to the graveyard of some effect, but no, it will not revive back. Um, okay. There's, there, there, there is a way around this, but let's see if he has the out for it. I don't think so, but we'll see. Okay, let's summon from the deck. Does he have an ash? No. Okay. Hmm. That's true. I mean, that would that would, that would be pretty cool. Um. That would be pretty cool, actually. Uh, yeah, I think. It's a tight man. Okay. Does he have something to negate? He doesn't, okay. I think we need Basilima. 
as much as we we don't want it, but we we do need Basilema. Basilema is going to become very important in case there's going to be some destruction effect or some weird stuff. So let's hope this combo works because I'm not in the mood for this. Ooh. Yeah. Or something. I don't know why. I don't, I... No, the thing is, like, the thing is, when 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 you see, okay, so he, he summoned the synchro zone. So I'm like, okay, no, it's fine because I have an out for it, right? So I can actually, um, you know summon Isaac Demir, then anything he summons, anything he activates, I can chain to it, like a skill drain or something like that, then I can actually just dodge everything. And our muscles will be protected from destruction. So like that was that would have been the play. What is this? Oh he's just okay. But now, since he had the solemn judgment, it's kind of unfortunate, but okay. Okay, 60 seconds. Okay, I'm definitely out of time here. Um, he has something. What is that? What is that though? And the thing is, I don't, I don't have any monsters. So now I'm kind of like, I'm kind of prone to just getting affected by everything because now Dude. Just give me something to work with. That was a match. Losing match. Losing match. Losing match. Okay, I need to. I need to hurry up because whatever he has is just distracting me now. You see, I'm. I'm even not even focusing now. I just, I just, I just, come on, come on, come on, just, just summon whatever, come on, dude, just stop wasting time, man. Just give me this so I can just, let me summon the lances, let me just destroy all those cards and then I'm done. Literally, it, I just, I just need to summon the lances and I'm done. Come on. 25 seconds, let's go. Like, this is so, like, whatever, dude. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Time do not fail me here. I need to summon this now. Okay, place it here. I don't need to banish anything. Oh my god. Is that not a solemn judgment? Please do not be a solemn judgment. I'm going to be so mad. Because that's going to be a fuming now. Okay. Come on. Just give me whatever. It's fine. Yo, just the time. Come on, dude. Just, just stop it. Yes. Yes. Come on, you clip, you clip, you clip, you clip, you clip. Oh my. Come on. Equip, 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 equip. Come on, equip. Come on, battle, 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 battle. Destroy cards. Three. Come on, resolve, resolve, resolve. Quickly. No 
come on, game. Do, do, do not. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I think he knew. Like, wait, what's this guy doing? He's destroying cards in the field. He can destroy the Synchro Zone. Destroy. Oh, my goodness. You see that? That's the thing. Sometimes you see that th this is how it was when I was going up to Master. Because literally, like the most weirdest stuff ever. Like, and the thing is, sometimes you have to concentrate. But now the thing is, your opponent also is just frustrating you. But at the same time, you also want to concentrate because you need to know what you're doing. So, oh, man. Because I literally had the outs. I had two outs. I had Gamir. And on top of, on top of Gamir, I also had this play as well. So, I don't know. But GG anyway. And, and remember, we did snipe that um, card out of it. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. What? Okay, okay, question number one. Goes and match? It was, it was so ready to activate goes and match, thinking that we do not play like oh my god this is so okay so do you prefer this or do you prefer actual stun like pure stun with morganite and all that like this i think this is more toxic than that because this banishes your deck and it's very slow to deck you out and and the fact that this card is not even banned is still like mind-boggling like why are you enabling this people to play this card because you know when, when, when Konami bans a card they're saying hey you probably should stop playing it but you're actually going to be playing it if you make it a one like look they're going to be one those match rivalry surprise no skill drain though I... oh my i think you know what the face down was i think the face down was safe zone because he would have activated they can only be one long time ago which means i would have had a, a psychic one cybers one aqua but that would that play stopped so i think the the, the face down was safe zero okay um which actually doesn't do anything because the lighters will just destroy so runic fountain so therefore it's quick plays it can't be added i mean yes you can have you have gary but dude this is so whatever like i almost lost that duel man like i'm just like actually let me let, let me show you this let me show you this where is this duel uh this is now you see on the ground as you can see we we we, we up there right so let me show you let me show you what i'm talking about Losing to stupid stuff Look at this duel, right? This is the one that was a was was a a rank up. Okay, I think this was like so. I rank down. I was I think I was like like two wins away, and then this this duel happens. I'm like, okay, fine. This is just to show you, like, okay. So by the way, look at that double Pascalis. But luckily, I had the small world, so I was like, okay, whatever, you know. So I'm I'm thinking, okay. He, I lose the coin toss and he makes me go first. I'm like, okay, wow, okay, it's fine. I'm just going to go combo off nicely. I'm going through the plays nicely, you know, the standard play, getting Bass Lima in case there's a destruction effect or whatever. So I'm going to skip this because most of you have seen how I play. So this is like pretty standard. When I play, this is the combo that I would do. I was even like, okay, let me even use the field spell as well and combo off, but oh, I don't know. Uh, th th this is a, a prime example of how frustrating it is, especially if you're climbing. Like, some of these duels just shouldn't be the case, but yeah. Um, yeah, this is pretty much standard combo. So I went Bubble Reef here, not Argonaut. Um, some would argue, yeah, I play Argonaut, but then again, I don't know what they were doing. Okay, it's fine. They had Drew design it, okay. And they said five. I'm thinking, oh my goodness, it's Labyrinth. But luckily, we do have Baslima in the graveyard. So I'm thinking, okay, no, we're fine because we're thinking it's Labyrinth, right? 
only need to be surprised. So we drew cross out. Okay, fine. In case they have something like Ash or whatever, which I don't think so, because Labyrinth doesn't really play those things. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try go for game here. So I'm gonna sign it. I'm gonna go activate at Seahorse. So at this point, I have 8,500 damage. So I'm like, okay, it's fine. You let's just play onto your board. Let's see what happens, right? Dimension War. And I'm like, oh my goodness, it's a burn deck. Now, you're probably thinking, why didn't I attack with the lower monsters first? If they have a big enough monster, then obviously then I won't be able to attack with those. So I said, let me go with the big one first. And Dimension War was active. I'm like, only when your opponent monster gets an attack, instead of you, your opponent takes damage instead. So now I'm thinking, all right, I won't attack again because if they crash into this with 5,200, I lose 5,200 damage. So now, Surely, they don't have follow-up, right? Cool. And they have this card. Muhammad the Fairy Dragon. And I'm like, are you kidding me? They had to have everything they needed just for that. Like this, I, I gave them the perfect setup. And that's just like more frustrating because now what this says, during your opponent's turn, if either player takes battle damage, you special summon, and then you have one of one of the effects gain life points or inflict damage the same one that you took to your opponent and then guess what happens and i'm and i'm and i'm and i'm, and I'm like what is this how the game is rewarding these players because they're just giving them what they need and i'm like no because that's how i feel this type of burn deck Runic stun, stun decks, they just get rewarded. And I'm like, there's no way you had the exact setup and I literally gave you the win. Like, it didn't even matter what their face downs were. I was like, are you kidding me? I, like, I was like, wow. So that's why I, when, I, when, I, when I saw that player, I'm like, oh, he's playing Synchro Zone, okay. But then he has Solemn Judgment. I'm like, dude, how, how lucky do you have to be? If, 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 if I didn't have enough extension, I would have been like, okay, cool, whatever. But fortunately, he didn't have extension. So I was like, okay, I was able to play. But still, it's frustrating because now you like, you feel like the game's rewarding the player for not doing anything. I'm like, wow. Whereas me, who's begging to search for whatever I need to play, they just have everything they need. I'm like, solemn judgment, wow. Like that could have been, they could have waited. They could have waited. And I'm like, okay, but yo, know, like sometimes this game can be frustrating, especially if you're climbing, if it's a rank up game or something like that, and you're like very close and you're like, oh, really? This type of player gets rewarded and then you don't get rewarded. Now you have to find a way to like figure it out. I'm like, oh, what in the mood? Hmm. Anyway, back to dueling. Uh, Blue Tang. So again, because we have Spring Girl, send Basilima. That's the. Okay. Guess I had no hand traps. Uh, yeah. Like I said, Ma Master Rank is way more chilled compared to Diamond, because people are not quitting like that. They're not. They're not quitting unless you. Yeah. What? Are you telling me? You see, this is see, uh, see, this is what I don't understand, right? Okay, cool. You don't have hand traps. Why don't you just play it out? Because your deck is not all about going first. Because as you can see, Rescue Ace, they were going second in that duel. So they're like, oh, I have no hand traps, so now I can't play. What do you mean? You can definitely play still. You had definitely more than enough cards to play. I'm like, why did you quit? You see what I mean? Like, I mean, how is it that you get paired up against duels like this where the opponent has literally every reason to play arguably the best deck right now some would say you would argue it's better than mine but yet why would they quit because they don't have hand traps come on really like i would have played on like it's 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 so weird like like this is unnecessary this is like shoot yeah 
and I can already see it. If we didn't snipe this card out of their hand, they would have just done a runic card, tribute summon, and now we can't activate monster effects and we're done. I'm like, oh, whatever. That's what I'm saying, man. Sometimes this game, it's, 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 it's so, uh, I don't know. I mean, yes, it's nice, but at the same time, it's not nice because people just get rewarded. And that's why sometimes the game is telling you something like, ah, it's not for you today. You just have to lose all your games. So or we have to just whatever. Hmm. Yeah. So here's the thing, right? We have Small World. We have Barrier Statue. We have Effect Veil, we have PD Crow. I don't want to really throw these away, but I do want to take the barrier away because I don't think we really, really need it. Well, you can say we need it, but actually we don't. So let's try and bait. Yeah, let's get a nice trade. Let's get Barrier Statue. Bridge it to Mandarin. Get something nice. Ooh, get an Ogre. I'll take that. I'll take that. So, so you see, we traded in a barrier statue, bridging to Mandarin, and we can get our high level monsters. So you see, we can literally search anything we want. So I can get a Kester Ogre, and I'm comfortable now. As you can see. So there's so many ways to search for whatever you want, and that's, I think, the benefit of Small World. Okay. So now I can go comfortable with my place. Um, yeah. Pretty standard. Yeah. Believe it or not, Spring Grove also a one card combo, believe it or not. Believe it or not. It actually is a one card combo. And I'll show you how. Um, it's gonna get this. Gonna use the dive. You're gonna go to spring. I think barrier statue is a pretty good investment for your Umi deck. Um because obviously it prevents him from special summoning altogether. And obviously uh Umi the Kairushin only makes you summon not more than one non-water so it's like a double flag here which is pretty cool um yeah so i think that's a good um thing to get um i think one is fine you don't need more than that unless you're playing like pure like because remember you want to make sure your umi engine is running so you obviously need three jellyfish three kairushin one whale the mega fortress whale um, yeah, I think one is fine. You don't need too many. Because too many just feels like, uh, not... I mean, yes, it, you, you would say it's, um, useful, but remember, your main goal is to summon Kairushin. So, that's why it's... Oh, wait, I've messed up the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, and it's fine. I just messed up the play, but it's fine. I, I, I luckily I have Ogre on the field. I, I, I would have summoned back Spring Girl, get um, get Blue Slug, Blue Slug, Agbrack, Spring Girl, Link Three. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. But yeah, it, the play just messed up slightly, but it's okay. It's fine. This is this is this actually okay because. Okay. Yeah, so this is exactly the same like the last time. Very similar. Oh. Yeah, so again, not bad. So I would say for the Umi deck, I would say maximum of two barrier statue. But you only I would I would say you can you can get away with one, but I think two would be ideal. You want to make sure your Umi engine is going. You don't want to over, over overdo your other card, non-engine, over that. So that's why I think you should prioritize that.
Because I played only before, so I know pretty much how how much you rely on your non your 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 main engine max. See. Did you just draw that for turn? Interesting. Watch me get drawn Lockbird. Oh, okay, you max me, you ma I max you. That's when you fair. I think that's fair, right? You max me, I max you. I think that that's that's healthy, right? I think that's fair. So, what rusts? Oh boy, I'm gonna go for evenly or something like that, or Raigeki or some weird thing. But we do have something for Raigeki as a Lima in the graveyard. Oh no, we don't. Oh, we don't. Talents. Talents. Huh? Oh, we didn't activate the effect yet in the we activated the standby phase, not the main phase. So talents is offline now, so no. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I'm gonna wait. Oh, when they have a monster on field, then I can use wave. Then I know talents is immune. So, so the question is, are they going to use polymerization? That's the question. Wait, they added the edge imp. Why did they add the edge imp? Are they playing Chimera? They could be. Because Chimera is the new fusion deck. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna max C now. So that means his talents is live, but then we can obviously negate with the wave, so we're gonna be fine. Unfortunately, we have to do that because we don't wanna lose the talents. Unless he decides to draw two cards, that's also fine, but. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of narrow. Okay. I lose him. Okay. 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 So here we are going to be unaffected now, so that on the end of the chain we can snipe cards from his deck. Then his talents won't really do anything to us if we want to take control of a monster. So yeah, let's see. Because at least we still have hand traps. Ooh, those are that's the problem. Yeah, negate. That's fine. Now we can snipe from his deck, hopefully. Something nice. Let's see. What is he running? Ooh, mirror swords. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Super poly? Mm -mm. Mirror sword knight, get out. That's a problem. That is a problem. Even this card here. Yeah. When it activate a target, a card you control. Well, we can just target it and then it doesn't do anything. So, yeah. Okay, mirror sword that. Okay, that's fine. Okay. We, we need a DD Crow now. Because if we don't DD Crow now, we could potentially get negated. Because mirror sword knight. When your opponent activates a effect while you control a you can just banish card from your field or grave. So 
Yeah, we don't want that. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna get rid of. Okay, wait. Let, 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 let's see what he does. Okay. So Mirror Swords Knight is. Yeah, this 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 is this is yeah this this we have to get rid of it now so that for next turn there's nothing there yeah get rid of it because the only thing i wanted like deal with is oh okay okay so we can bait this out also because this will activate to negate no okay oh it's not counted as um chimera the flying mythical that's right it's that i'm thinking what what wow that's okay triple tactics talent I totally forgot that this card becomes Chimera the Flying Mythical, and these cards require Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast. And because we negated it, it's not named that. That's why I didn't activate. I'm like, okay. So we actually, we actually kind of played around them because they would have been able to be live immediately. Hmm. Okay. So I'm thinking now. This was actually the smart play, actually, to just negate the name. Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast, okay. Interesting. Draw two cards. Yeah. So the question is, do they have Chimera Fusion? Because that will be a great follow-up for them. Because they can do, they can go into Guardian Chimera. Oh, they got nothing. Okay, maybe they got Hand Trust. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Okay, let's get this out the way. Finish that one. But nothing. Oh. Okay. No, don't give me, don't give me another blue tang. I don't want that. Oh, they got nothing. Oh. Hey. Well, business just picked up. I think so. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Um, wow. Uh, do we just have game right here? It looks like it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ash, no, nothing lighting up. Okay, had you <laughs> a wave. Well, you can't mean to get it by the this this monster, yeah? the cornfield. So, okay. They literally got nothing. Nothing is lighting up. So that means it's a good sign. Uh, let me just do this. Yeah, they got nothing. Which is surprising, though. 
Because I would have thought they had something. But I guess... Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay, let's... Let's wrap this up, because we don't have all day here. Um, this one can go here, this one can go here. Just need to concentrate here. I mean, we can get, we can literally get dive in case there's some sort of follow up here. But we have a second, actually have a second wave. So I'll tell you what, we're actually going to pick up the second copy of wave, just in case, because we already have two marines as monsters in our hands, so we don't need to add another one. So and those are the, and that's actually the crucial one that we need. So okay. Pretty good, I would say. Um, wow. Okay. Now, if they decide to activate Nibiru for some reason, we do have double wave, which is activatable for both of them. So we target the one. If they have the, the cornfield, we negate the other one, then it's still resolved, right? Um, like this. Vanish. You okay, and then we can go like this. This is, be, this is gonna be a field day. So it's mandatory effect to activate, so both of them, if there's like double them, you have to activate so. Okay. Okay, now we take this one. We say into grave and we revive back the marbled rock. And of course, we'll summon our oh, 60 seconds. We're always running out of time here. Yeah. World Sea Dragon. This is Atlantis. Now, we need to banish because we're going to be in trouble if we don't. So we have to. Vanish and then it should be okay. If they have nib, hey, it's fine. We have follow up in the graveyard, so if they decide to nib us, doesn't really matter. We still have follow up anyway, so. Oh, almost messed up, yeah. Yeah. Almost messed up. Oh, field spell first, always remember, forget about. Ooh, 8,000. Ooh. We know we, we know we're gonna go for the maximum. We gotta go for maximum damage. We're not playing around here. We might have some in here. Okay, Tar chain one, of course. Chain two, of course. We get this back. We get this. Nothing. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Equip. The card. Equip. And equip. I just get this. Sorry. Nothing. Here we go. Nothing. So you see again. Although I. Had very little understanding of how the deck worked, the Chimera deck. I, I think I had the right targets. So DD, uh, so negating the the, 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 the Chimera flying be mythical beast, that was actually the crucial play because all the other stuff doesn't work. So now you know. If you know, if you play against branded Chimera and they fusion that once the first, then GG. So not bad. Um, Let me just confirm something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 42 cards clean. Um, no Nibiru, though. Yeah, it's kind of. Wait, what? Exterior? Huh? 
No way. Like, this is so generic. <laughs> uh, and killing a beast. And, uh... Really now? And they're playing King Tiger. Dude, what's going on here? They're playing most random stuff, but anyway. Very, very random. Alright, let's push on. Let's push on, let's push on, let's push on. Okay. Okay, so we got a interesting hand going second. A dear servant. Ah. Are they playing labyrinth? Stun, don't tell me you're playing stun. Please don't tell me you're playing stun. Because that's just gonna be annoying now. Uh oh. Or you could be playing labyrinth, that's also fine too. You could be playing stun, and the thing is, if you're playing stun, I don't, I don't, I don't know anymore. Like, the medical punishment. Okay, dude, this is just, this is just like whatever. Just give me another Marinus name. Give me, a, give me a water moss action. Just give me anything. Sign it. Mm. Mm hmm. Sign it. Diddy Crow can come and clutch you, but I don't know. Let's see first. Let's bait out the cash tier ogre. Because that's what they have to do. Get rid of this, right? Yeah, probably get rid of this. Really now? Okay. Let's check if you're playing stun or labyrinth. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. You're playing stun or labyrinth. Oh, you playing labyrinth? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. What are we sniping here? I, I think we all know, right? The field spell. Let's go. Can we actually search the trap that you want to search, please? Thank you. What? Ash Blossom. Okay. Okay. So you play on Ash Blossom. So now... Um... Let's see. Can we play around? Let's see. Can we play around? Hmm. Play around this. Because I only need two cards. And if they, if they don't have anything, then we're done. Let's go with this one. I mean, you got Maxi, whatever, it doesn't really matter to me, actually. It doesn't matter to me at all. I mean, you could have Nibiru, that's also fine, but whatever. Bring in mind, I haven't normal summoned yet, so if you decide to do anything, then yeah. There's what? Four summons? Labyrinth Butler. That's fine. 
summon the lovely probably yeah okay No way, the field stop. Bro. Okay, you just lose now because. You literally just lose now because I'm gonna make this. And then you got no plays after this. Guy is so cute. Anyway, it, unless unless this, unless this is Imperum. Oh, we can't respond. Oh my goodness, I forgot of thingy. We can't respond to traps. Oh my goodness. Okay. Fine. Just. Oh, come on. Skill drain? Oh, come on. Really now? Skill drain? Oh, my goodness. What? I know. You know when your opponent just has luck? Like, what is this, man? Come on. Skill drain, you see, this would have been countered with Gimir easily. But now, because I can't respond, it's like, whatever, dude. Yeah, worst case, I mean, I just have to do this. Just like what skill drain? Like, and you, and you, I think it's not even work for it. You just do whatever you want to do. In fact, look at this. Literally, skill drain is the only thing that's gonna like save you. Okay, I'll take a. Um... Dude, that skill drain is just gonna mess me up. And my feather dust is in the deck, but I don't know how to, how to get it now. Now let's just get another blue tank because I don't want any surprises here. Uh, I think that's the end. And I is gonna go probably lady beat down because of skill drain, like, dude. Whatever. Oh, wait. Whoa. Why did he use that effect? Because Gamir will just come back. Come back. Why is not coming back? Wait, why is my monster not coming back? That's weird. I thought if a card gets banished, Gamir comes back. Why is it not coming back? I'm confused now. What's going on? Okay, is that gonna trigger? Wait, what? Why is this card not triggering? What's going on here? If a card is banning, 
While this card's in the grave, you can't special summon this card. So why isn't I activating them? I'm so con what? What? What is this guy doing? This guy is so dumb. He's he's under skill drain. What is he doing? Like he's, you're flagging yourself now, literally. But now, obviously, you're relying on your big beaters. Oh, this is not ideal. What? You only, do, do, this guy doesn't know his cards are negated. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. This guy is just playing so wrong. I don't understand this guy. He's activating stuff, but he doesn't have no idea what's going on. Or is he just like trying to be a troll or what? I don't understand. He literally is negating himself. Do I activate noise? And I'm not going to activate. Yeah. yeah, he's just gonna. It's just so lucky. Like, what is this? This is ridiculous now, honestly. I... Skill drain, skill drain, skill drain. does absolutely nothing because it's negated anyway um what's in the graveyard spell i mean yeah but not enough monsters though
I guess we can try, but I don't I don't know. Okay, let's see. Uh... Dude, I don't even know. Like, this is just like unfortunate because. Thing, but I need ideally a spring girl or something or that too that also can work but Daruma seriously Like, just whatever, mate. Oh, my goodness. Only for that, not Scudder not being there. Only if it wasn't there. Some skill you have, eh? Yeah. There's literally no skill in that. No skill at all. Like he knew he was he was gonna lose if I had give me on the field, he knew. So I mean That's just what it is, but like I said, you can't do anything if your opponent has literally the out to your out, which is like weird because why is that the case? You know, and then remember, a school is not even searchable, but yet they had it. So how is that even possible? And my hand was pretty good also, but... Hmm. Yeah, so here, unfortunately, I have to just... Okay, it's fine. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so we can just go for this play, I think. What? Why? Um, okay, weird. I must say, people are quite weird, like, very weird. Like, why did you have to quit? Spring ins, but again, they could have continued playing. I don't understand why would you quit, like, because I what drew something that I could play, and by the way. The combo I was going to do, I was going to lock them out of summoning, so... Yeah. But... No, the people are weird, man. The Rescue Ace and now Spring Ins, they're just quitting because of what? They don't have Antares? Come on, dude, really? You had Maxi? Why did you surrender? I have no idea why you surrendered, but okay. Or, may or maybe they misclicked? 
I probably missed it like, oh wait, I, I clicked Maxi by accident. But, I don't know. Well, okay, this is a not so great hand for any plays, that is. Okay, but it is what it is. I can't really complain, actually. We got Cash to your ogre. I can do something. And we just set it right here. And that's it. Same phase, yeah. Done. We wait and see what they play. Let's activate this first. I just play into the Maxi or oh, Talents? No, let's just play into it. They probably have something, it's okay. Catch their unicorn, okay. So they do, they're gonna make five summons, and the Bureau's gonna. Are they baiting me? Are they baiting me? No, I don't know. We're not going to take the bait. Not taking the bait. That's two summons. That's two summons. So the bureau is going to come very fast at them and they're not going to like it. Okay, it's fine. Three summons. Big bang. Okay, so again, I'm not going to activate these effects. Four summons. Banish it. Ah, one ocean, okay. So there are four summons. Oh no. Oh no, opponent, you boy. Uh oh. Nibiru. Oh no. Why did you do that? Oh no. Literally wasted all the effects for no reason. Oh, wh wh what? Set four? Hmm. Interesting. No, 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 I don't want to. No. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 like the guy was just so confident that he could. He, he was trying to bait my Kestra Ogre, but then I was like, ah, no, Nibiru's gonna come, so I'm gonna wait. Okay, this is gonna be a check to see if they have anything funny. If there's like a destruction there or something. Oh my goodness, solemn? Solemn. I figured, you see the... Bro, there just had to be something there. I just knew it, bro. There just had to be something there. Uh, okay. So it's probably Imperm, which is fine. Wait. Huh? Solemn Judgment. Again. What? Oh. This. Bro, what the? What is this? Call by the grave now? Oh my goodness, bro, what? 
What are you? Wow! This guy. Oh my goodness, bro. Like, wow. This guy. This guy is so like, oh, dude. No way, man. And the thing is, I gave him a token now. Now he can just attack over it now. It's just so... Uh... Does it really matter what I summon? No. Probably should have summoned defense, but uh, that's just me. I mean, you... God. Like, why are you playing such cards? Like... It, you see what I'm talking about? Like, you see... You, goodness, bro. Like, wow. You think you're okay, but then they just always have something. And this is just... This is just... This is just unnecessary. Like, why do you have this? So you're telling me going second, if you would have had that crazy board, Arizot plus all of that? Come on, dude. So it's his backup Arizot Macrocosmos. Oh, God. Did that... Wow. Uh, uh, I, and this this would have been easy game. Like like literally easy game because Gimir would have been on field. If he had activated that, I would have chained to it, banished, I got gone from the game. He activates birth, gone from the game. I would have like <sighs> like this is easily won. And I'm open for these things, but it's fine. Whatever I say doesn't really matter at this stage, actually. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put this to defense because I don't know what this guy is having. And I'm actually gonna and I'm actually gonna set wave. Um Yeah, I think I need to have Ooh. Come on, dude. There's no way this guy is just going to have a follow-up like this. There's just no way. Rinse his card? I mean, no, I don't really want to do that. Oh, dude. Okay. Now I can't activate... There we go. There's the. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, just get out of here. Just get out of here. Come on, dude. Test your monster. Okay. Look at that. Look at this. Surrendered. Why? Like, this is so... Oh, my God. That's such a weird... Oh, my gosh. You know... I don't know if I was complaining or what, but... Like, this is so weird. I don't understand, guys. Like... Do, do you guys realize I had the perfect hand... To literally, like, just end the game right there. Like, ugh. Like, and it, it, it uh. Wow. Like, what is the, what is this deck? What is this? Like, this is just a mixed of... What? Oh, look at this. 
Look at this. You're playing Fairy Tale Luna. Look at this guy. Like, even you even playing Vanity's Fiend as if. Wow, bro. This guy really is that toxic because he had like five level seven monsters. Am I even kidding? If I didn't have that Nibiru, I would have been probably like dead already. And he had Solemn, three judgment, two warning. Bro, like, bro, I don't understand. You also even have Solemn Strike. That's like, oh. Now guys, I'm not like saying I'm, uh, it's whatever, but this guy's just playing, he was just playing weird, man. Like, I don't know. And the guy just surrenders. Or because he thought, okay, with Nibiru, I'm gonna, I'm, uh, you give me a big token, I'm gonna win. But then, hey, the Ice Barrier came in clutch. But still, what? Come on, guys, really? Oh goodness! Like, I don't even, I don't even, I, I don't, how do you, how do you explain these rules today? I don't understand. Like some of them. You've got so many surprises, like the Snake Eye Evils are to people just, I don't even know. Oh, guys, I don't even know anymore. Like at this stage, that's it. You only see this in Master Rank. You don't see this even in the, in the ladder, which is, which is, which is so weird. Fusion Summon. Okay. Garura. Huh? You're probably going to quit now. You're like, oh, wait. I don't even know anymore. Like, what is life? Oh, he's got something. He's definitely got something. Um. Uh. I think we just got barrier statue, and then that's it. Because. Yeah, he won't be able to do anything after this. So. Yeah, I think. Okay, so let's see what he has. Okay, so it's an effect veiler, definitely. Mirror Sword Knight. Oh! 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 Okay. Mirror Sword Knights is one card combo. We get rid of that. What was this? Other hand, cold buys, right? Yeah. Yes. It's called by and Chimera Fusion, which you can't even summon, but okay. Right. Yeah. You can't you can't summon. Yes, you, you might say I'm toxic also, but I think mine is validated. Okay? Because I'm using it to my advantage. I'm not playing pure stun or whatever. I'm just using it to... But I'm like, what? Like, 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 like even this, like, what is this duel? Like, what, what, what is this going to do? Like, what is this? Edge Gem Saber, Reformate, gives you Garura, okay. Um, okay, Maxi, Ash, okay, fine, but... but X. Oh my goodness. Oh, today. Oh god. Oh god. Ah, right, today guys, I don't know. Today I feel like I feel like I feel like ranting more than playing because the more I play I'm, I'm getting more frustrated because like like what okay, can we can we can we just go back? Can we just go okay, master four, okay, please. The master one grand's gonna be put up a journey, but okay, we'll get there. If we don't get there, it's fine. I'm not really too worried about that. 
can can we just talk about this? And card limits, thank goodness you're here because just have a look at this, right? This is someone's deck list, right? So this is just ridiculous. Like, I don't even know what you call this deck. Is this a Kashira stun deck? Or is this, this is not pure Kashira at all. Like, what is this? Um, Like, I just want to, I just want to understand what this dude was because yeah, the bandness for TCG, probably the most interesting bandness you'll ever see in a while. That's what that, 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 that I'll say. Oh, so, I go first, right? Cool. Ogre, get trapped. I got nothing. So I sit and I'm done. Okay, I'm thinking, okay, cool, I'm fine. At least I got Maxi. Uh, and I got Nibiru, so, okay. And I got preparations of the trap card, okay. Okay, good thing I activated early because he's playing Kashira. Okay, so now he's just comboing off now. I'm thinking, okay, full-blown Kashira. Okay, I'm excited now. Nibiru's waiting. That's two summons. Okay. He's going to keep on cooking. Cooking, all right. Kashira birth, no more summon. Okay, that's three summons. Okay. He gets Big Bang for some reason. Don't know why. He makes uh, Rise Art. Okay, that's four summons. Okay. He banishes Kashira Ogre. Interesting. He gets another foot. And then... Like... This is not how you play Kashira, first of all. You do not play into Nibiru like this. Because you always fear someone has Nibiru. Because even, even for me, when I play, I try my best to avoid Nibiru. But I always think the guy has it. So you play until you don't. But this is overcooking. Because now... He uses birth effect to revive. So there's no follow-up. He used all the effects here. So they're all level seven. And then Nibiru, okay, I'm, I'm I'm confident because he's giving me like what four or five cards. Okay. And then he sets five. And I'm thinking, okay, fine. No problem. If he sets five, we have counters because number one, we put Adrian in and Basima in the grave, he gets a level 10 synchro. It can get Destruction protection. Banish protection. Okay, cool. Okay, get Maxi, not really relevant. Activate Ron. And the mad that I saw the warning, I'm like, okay. Solemn warning is a bit weird and Kashira, but okay. Fine. Very weird. Okay, negate. No problem. I normal summon uh Lutang and yeah, you have to have Solemn Judgment as well. So I'm just thinking. If I didn't have Nibiru, he would have made a Rise Art, have all the set in his back row, and then on top of that, maybe have Fenrir or Unicorn or something. And I'm like, a guy? Then I activate Dive, and then he changed Macro Cosmos. So it's like, it's is, is that overkill? Guys, I mean, to be honest, isn't that, isn't that overkill? Because he's so confident. Okay, I have a nip token. It's like huge. 14,000 attack. Great. Um, like, I feel like he was he was way too confident. I mean, even me, as much as, yes, uh, Marincis can make like insane boards or whatever. But the thing is, you're overcooking way too much. Here. Like, you're that confident you're going to win next turn. But now you don't know what I'm going to do. But, yeah, the guy had solemn warning, solemn judgment. Okay, I normal summon, okay. I set the defense because I don't know what's going to happen. And I just said, okay, because I have wave, I'm going to make a link one so it's activatable. And that's it. So my best play here was the Ice Barrier. So he's like, okay, cool, I'm confident, I'm going to win. Yay, no. Ice Barrier says no. Defense to zero, that. But then here's the weird part. He has follow-up. Okay, Fenrir adds back Unicorn. Okay, fine. Normal summons the Unicorn. Sets and that's it. And I think, you know what happened? I think he was like, there's no way this guy just gave me a token and then just got rid of it just like that. He didn't time out. He didn't do anything. He just... 
Like the guy was just way too confident. Way, way too confident. I, and I'm, I don't know. Today is, yeah. Yeah, card limits, if you, if you, were, if you were here in the beginning, You'd have seen, oh my god, the most craziest duels you'll ever see. Like the, the most weirdest matchups. And the thing is, this is all a master rank. Where was this? Because in Diamond, they were not there. Like, this is the grind I win. I lost to a burn deck. Uh, where is this other loss that I had? This was against um Oh yeah. This was against Snake Eye, but I'm actually going to show you this one as well, because here, I think this one was a slight, I, I, I don't know, is this a misplay or not? Because I just felt that was the right play at that time, but also not playing into it correctly, but okay. So going first, okay, fine, no problem, uh, standard. Um, that's Lima because I have Springer already, so of course. Because again, you, you, you always think they they have some, they're playing Snake Eyes, they're playing Labyrinth. That's Lima is your best bet. So definitely run it. If you are playing Marinsis, definitely consider it. Let's speed up here. Because this combo is pretty standard. Scalus, Spring Girl, Vanish Mutang, Link of Sea Angel. So no hand traps. I'm like, okay. So so here. Yeah. So as you can see, I have Pascalis in my hand, one, and I have two more Pascalis in the graveyard. This was going to come into play later on. So you'll see why that's important. Uh, so I was like, okay, whatever. Revive back. Can use the effect of this. Revive back uh, Baslima. Put it in grave. So here's the first mistake. Right. This obviously plays into Nibiru, right? So my priority was, okay, let's get wave. And then we just, if you have the Biru, they have it. If they don't have it, it's okay. It's fine. They had it, which is fine. They could have Nibiru earlier, but for some reason they did not. So, okay. And you obviously get wave search still, but then obviously we just set in defense just in case they have something. So again, I also have a different myself and I also have DD Crow. So now I'm deciding now what's going to happen. Let's see. So they have Ash, Imperm. That's easy. No brainer. That's fine. Then they have Bonfire. Okay. Didn't expect that. But remember the summons. Number one. Number two is the Popular. Field Spell. Which did make an impact. Link Rebo, Number three. And in TCG, by the way. Yep. Uh, then it goes to number, number four. Snake Eye Ash. Oak, five. Okay. Then I just, I, I, I don't know why they didn't go into Flame Burge, but obviously it was in the back row. So they're like, okay, no, let's make five summons and go on with that. So like, okay, it's fine. Let's just live now. And then that's it. There's, there's no Mascarina play. So he pushes my nib back. He eventually makes Mascarina. Then he goes into Appaloosa because that's the best he can do. Right? So that's the play that they do when you stop the play of you know, equipping Masquerine in the graveyard, all that stuff. So that's what they wanted to do. So that's what happened. And then they go for that. Fine. So here's my so here's my conundrum, right? So now on my next turn we have yes, Coral Triangles effect. This is I, I don't know if I should have activated it or not. But maybe I should have. But then again it would have been negated. So I was like, I was trying to play around Appaloosa by reducing its attack just to make it low enough so I can attack over it. But it ended up being crucial. Drone Lockbird, not really useful. DD Crow, I try and bet out the thing. Promethean doesn't do anything. Pascalus. And he has a first mistake. Having multiple Pascalus in the grave, as you can see. Because I banished one to get back the, the dive. He unfortunately had Cobalt the Grave, and because there was another Pascalis in the graveyard, he obviously banished that one, so now negated. Unfortunate. Okay, cool. Spring Girl. He doesn't he doesn't negate that. Sea Angel, a chain block, very important. Doesn't do anything again. Dive. 
Get back Springo. Uh, get back uh, Pascalis. Link one, blue slug. Add back Springo because remember, I have a normal summon yet. So I was just trying to play through as much because remember, there's no Promethean. You can't Promethean anyway because that blue is there. So I was like, okay, I was trying to bait out something, but there's nothing. Okay, in the gate, and now he's lower. So then I go core an enemy, I attack. Okay. And now I revive back for a triangle. And then now he activates the field spell to revive back my Nibiru. So I think here was where I think the misplay happened. I, I don't know if this is a misplay or not, but in this position, what I think I should have done was maybe go into the link four, Zalantis play, board wipe the, the Nibiru, and then there's no monster on field for follow up. Because you'll see later what happens. So now, it, I, I, for some reason, I don't do that. Because also, I'm, re I'm racing for time as well. I go into the Link 4 play. But then, I add back Spring Girl. But then, I told myself, okay, I have Wave in hand. So, worst case, um, I can just, you know, come back from it, right? I also have Coral Triangle again in the graveyard, but then again, the Nibiru can run over me. So now my mindset was, okay, I'm going to Bubble Reef next turn. It's going to be bigger than the Nibiru, so you can't crash me that turn. He has to draw something magical. And then, only behold, the Mad Lad has Kurikara Divine Incarnate. I was like, wow. So that's something I wasn't thinking about at all, but I knew it was there, but obviously they normally search it out with the app. So I was like, okay, they either, I didn't know they had it in their hand already, but that was the, that was a game changer because now the field spell gives this card a boost, right? Of 40, uh, 1,100 on top of the one five that it gained. So now it's 4,100 and then that was game. So I think that was the game changer in that matchup for me, because if I made a better decision, maybe, then it wouldn't have been an issue because I would have only had lost 4,100, had follow up next turn, and then that's it. Because clearly he didn't have anything else in his hand. So that could have been an easy win, but again, a poor decision from my side by not committing to the the Zelantis play but it's okay i was i guess they're pressing for time so yeah yeah that's the thing because you can't really like especially especially for kurikara i think the bureau you can you can definitely play into it that's fine but kurikara you can't really say oh they have kurikara in hand because if i had done if i had known that then I would have not activated Bubble Reef. I would have allowed it to crash into Nib and then see what happens. But then I obviously didn't allow that. So, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it is high risk because knowing Snake Eyes, they can't search it. Um, But yeah, um, it is what it is. So, and obviously now because we activate monster effects as well, it also makes it a bit prone. So it's not like triple target talent where it affects the main phase. It's any, any phase. If you activate a monster effect, Kurikara is live. So that's one thing. Unfortunately, I didn't play around, which is fine. Cause that you don't know if they have it. Cause normally when I, if, if they search it with Ash, then I know, okay, they have it in their hand. So I definitely don't want to activate anything on my, on their turn. So that curry car is that, but yeah. But that's only what they do. They will always make sure on the on their turn two, they'll always follow up with adding a curry car if they have other follow up already. So that on their turn, if I disrupt them for some reason, then they can um, just curry car for game and that's it. So that is one of those things that's unfortunate. Uh, what else is? I think that's. Yeah, I think this, but the duels, man, like this one, I don't even know. Wait, wait, where is this duel actually? Um, yeah, this one, yeah. This was against um, Rescue Ace. I mean, they set full and then I, I, I tried to play through everything, but they just had too much gas. So 
that was fine uh this was oh this was this was funny this was this was very funny um like this was just like probably the most funniest duel ever like the guy was so committed to just play and then it's like oh no joe marker says nope and then he loses his entire hand we'll see now very very quick probably the shortest duel today so my hand's pretty good um but then the guy is just playing unfortunately bad cards like into the void and then draw an awkward and then he triple tactics talent my my hand okay looks at my hand okay great snaps a blue tang okay and then uses his hand and then he just scoops because he has nothing he, he realizes i have another monster which can summon itself and yeah that was it so that was funny uh, very, very funny. But then, where's this dude? Pandora. Yes. Look at this. This is this is probably the the probably the most interesting snake eye deck I've seen. Snake eyes with the evil czar engine to turbo out Lars or Dolka. And the fact that yo, I don't know. This was like I wouldn't say like poetry in motion, but like I was literally trying to um, showcase to the chat basically what you do against Snake Eyes, but then now they didn't, they, their Snake Eyes plays ended, but then the Evil Czar plays started. I was like, what? What are they doing? Because the original Sifu spoils into the level one Evil Tower, and I'm like, what? What is, what is this one? And then, and then it just sort of coming off, and I was like, damn. And this card has a crazy effect on the graveyard. You can banish this card from your grave, target a dragon exceeds with no material, and attach two reptiles or dinosaurs from your hand or grave to it at material. So it gave Lars two, two, two more negates on top of its negates that it had. So it detached material, then in the next turn it just reattached two material. So it forever had, you know? Yeah. And Demon have an Achilles heel to draw. Yeah, they they literally their whole deck draws cards, and especially into the void, it's really bad for them because they can't really make plays after that. Uh, I don't know what people are thinking. If I get the revamp Monster Reborn Spooky Dogwood, what what is there is there a retrain of Spooky Dogwood? What's the name of the card? Because Spooky Dogwood is pretty niche. I would say it's like a weaker version of maxi i would say about four life points so if you care about that but obviously card is more valuable and then this guy oh wait where is this duel the labyrinth no but there's a revamp master reborn that's a quick play oh okay that's it's a bit okay interesting yeah, this dual labyrinth, this one yeah. Skill drain, man. Uh this is literally just a problem. Like, well, okay. But anyway, uh but I have not not say labyrinth is hard against that. It's just that obviously they have outs which this is weird, so but yeah, you'll see very soon. Uh those people who think oh we can't handle against labyrinth, we can. We definitely can. Is so that obviously I must just know what's happening? Um, but yeah, oh, the virus, uh, the virus, it didn't really affect me too much because, because remember, with the virus cards, they're looking for spells, okay? But we can add them back from our graveyard to our hand, so it's only when you draw them, it gets destroyed. Obviously, if you have them ready in your hand, that's fine, but you can just get them back. So the main thing is do not activate them. Simple as that. Because you can always get can get them back. That's what that's what people were doing uh when the virus cards were out. But then obviously they realized very quickly the virus cards are a bit yeah, it's a bit of a gimmick, I would say. Compared to like obviously what they have now, which is pretty much their full power. So I mean look, they got the areas. Uh they got they're not playing rollback? interesting though but they got their rollback they got they got everything they got chaos angel um yeah 
Snake Eyes Cryptid, yeah. But but to be fair though, I think for quite a few, I think quite a few months now actually, like virus hasn't been so hyped up. I think because now I think they limited the virus card. I think did they? I don't know. I don't know if they limited it or whatever. But there's just better cards. I think transaction rollback is there. The areas is there. So they just feel like no we don't really really need to play it it's a bit okay whatever but who cares right <laughs> so i mean in the best of three it's good but i mean in the best of one i mean what are the chances of you i mean you can always search it with lady but you rather search like the rumor karma cannon more impactful you know because yeah oh you you just don't much spells but if i can get them back in the graveyard it doesn't really matter so, yeah um but yeah that's labyrinth 3 but like i said the meta is not really um difficult per se but it's just it all depends on the matchup i think because as you can see sometimes the matchups are just weird but if you can just find a way to sneak it sneak a victory then you can do it but like even against stun decks as much as we hate them there's a way to play around it. And no, we're not talking about Duster and those things. We're talking about actually playing through the stuff that they have. And if they're also just lucky, then they have everything. But it is what it is. But yeah, that's, I don't even know. Let's, let's, let's try one more game. Cause now the way this master rank is, is so weird compared to diamond. I think Ma master rank is more weird. My matchup is sounds a bit different. Yeah, because I know obviously Egyptian gods don't care about special summoning that much. So yeah. It kind of counters them because they can't destroy your monsters, so that's a good thing. So Ooh. Okay. Okay, so we got some plays here. Uh well, let's just Okay. Let's go. Extra Ogre. Okay. Let's get the trap. Yep. Okay, so now let's try and do the combo that we wanted to do before, but we couldn't do it. Uh, which is the one card combo. That's that's horrible. We don't want that. We want good cards. Uh, I have a second deck that hybrid sacred beasts and wicked gods. So Avatar, Great Bridge. Ooh. But wait, doesn't the wicked? Oh, the wicked Avatar gains attack. Eyes not on the field, but Dreadroot is the one that. What is what does Dreadroot do? Just remember what Bridger does. Because I know the the Wicked Avatar gains the highest tech on the field regardless. So, yeah. Oh, okay. But doesn't it affect the, the, the Wicked Avatar though? Because since now, if all the monsters on the field are hard, then it doesn't gain the highest attack on the field then. Plus 100, isn't it? Wait, do we just... No way. Okay. Oh, okay. Depends who came out second. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, because I know with that, you you obviously want to make sure that you have... There's a, there is a high attack monster on the field that can take him out, but it's okay. That's also fine too. Do I really want the Ron question? Uh, it's, 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 it's the same thing, but nothing. I don't know. 
really got nothing. Uh, okay. Nice barrier. And we're good. So we got the Biru just in case we need it. Uh, and we got Iceberry, which you can literally search whatever you want. So that's also nice. Yeah, a lot of things are quite um, retrained, I think, just to keep up with modern times, I think. So it's pretty unique, I would say. Effect now, yeah, why not? Let's use another one. Okay. okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, Kaiju, all well done. Okay, fine. We can literally search whatever you want now, that's fine. Uh, oh, bonfire, that's cute. Anyway, um, Nibiru can come like right now and then that's it. So, <laughs> opponent thinks he's safe. No, 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 no. He is not. Oh, Let me snipe your deck quickly first. And then we can negate. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine so, because the avatar is the highest attack on the field plus 100. So even if Stun reduces your attack with the Clockwork Knight and all those things, you're still going to be the highest, which is crazy. Max C. What? Rescue Ace. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. You've given me an idea. Should we banish the rescue? Yeah, let's banish the rescue. Because I know your draws suck. Yeah? Okay. Oh, they can't act fixed spell until their second in phase. That's right. Yeah, that's true. Oh, look at this. Link Karibo. Okay. Our favorite level one monster. Oh, not level one. Our favorite Link one monster, actually. Hydrant. Hmm. So summon number one. Summon number two, Link Karibo. Summon number three, Fire Hydrant. Okay. I like where this is going. It's actually the first Karibo to get on the band is, yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty intense, I would say. I mean, it's so weird. TCG, whoever's running that, 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 oh, it's just crazy, man. That, I think people are just, it, and it, it's so, you know, it's funny because a lot of uh, content creators were actually saying, like, oh, Link Rebo should be banned because it gives Snake Eyes advantage. And I'm like, but then that's not the problem. Like, it's not, it's not the problem. Like, for example, Bur Buron and Burload. Now they get banned, but during Tillerman format, Kestira format, they're okay. Dragon Link format, even? Come on. I mean, Dragon Link won the whole world, I think, whatever. With, okay, didn't I didn't necessarily use Borolo, but it was in their deck, definitely. I mean, come on. Really now? Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, is this summon number? What summon is this? 
Investigate turbulence. What? They just summon turbulence just to get rid of turbulence. Hello? Is there something right here? Okay. Um What? It's like they find their cards on the end board. Yeah, but the thing is you're telling me you're realizing only after how many formats Baron was used, Brawler Savage now it's a problem because it can be done more consistently i don't think that's an issue the issue is jet synchron ban jet synchron then that sorts out your issue because of course um what? oh okay okay i see what the opponent was doing okay Rescue Ace Turbulence Nibiru Here we go That's how we play into it You see, so we're like waiting Imper the, the real play of Turbulence Let's see what they can do And let's give them a token Yeah, they 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 are done. Yeah, they they got no players. Their main play is turbulence. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. They got something. Okay. I net mine it. Signet mining. Mm. Signet mining. Let's, let's, let's see what we can do here. Yeah. Send you. Then we can add back literally any water monster we want. Look at that. We can add any water monster that we want. So, what do you want to add? Uh, to be honest, uh, yeah, I think let's not. Yeah, let's go for this. Let's go for the safe route. Because first of all, there's a kaiju there. Let's get rid of it. That that no not not the, not the kaiju, but let's let's get rid of the token actually. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, sign. Sign. Go like this. Go like this. Oh, this was. Wow, that's right. There it is, right there. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. No ash, so doesn't really if Okay, um Okay. Uh um Basil. No, yeah, yeah, let's 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 send Basil. Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, this spring is here. Yeah. Spring. And then we can add. Oh, hopefully a name, then we can do something. Baylor. Barrier. Oh, oh, come on, that's not. That's not ideal. Um, can go statue into. Um, pretty much anything, really. God, what? Wait, corals in the. Oh. Really? Oh, God. you know what? Oh, come on, dude. You must have. Okay. This one. Good thing we do have this seahorse. Yeah, you definitely got nothing now. Oh, yeah, you got nothing now. Okay, um. You have to do this. We have to do. We have to do this properly. You, you definitely don't have something. Uh, but this is negated now because oh, just nonsense now. Uh, and dude. Uh, what are we equipping here? Yeah, I think oh, the core was negated for two turns. That's like whatever, dude. Uh, when you go, did we normal summon yet? Yeah, we did. Uh, we could go for. We go for this actually. Um. Let's banish this one. Banish this one, yeah. Uh, now we lose the Nibiru though. Okay, um. So, we have a choice here. Just, we don't have a choice. We just got to do it. There's actually no choice here. Okay. Brief, come on. Let's... We can actually make Argo. I think that's. I think that's. Let's let's make Argo. this okay yeah let's make Argo yo come on game come on come on come on come on give me give me let's make Argo an end turn come on let's go game let's go let's go let's go 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 come on get negated it's fine let's go here let's go this one and let's go. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, is it face down? Okay, no. You, you can't risk it. Let's just go. You can't risk it. Yeah, he's done. Oh, dude. How did we survive? How did we survive that? That is crazy. So, oh, I don't even know. Uh, well, at least we ended the stream on a high note. I mean, we, we, can, we can say we defeated Rescue Ace Snake Eyes. We played around this stuff. Like, I don't even know how. And I can tell you how. When when the the the, the benefit of having Kashira Oga tells you a lot. Because once I saw rescue, it means there are rescue a snake eyes, which means their main play is actually turbulence. It's not even popular. As you can see, look, popular is not even in the main equation. There's no snake eye ash. There's nothing. As you can see, there's nothing. So their main play was original sin for spoils, hydrant. But 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 here's the thing, right? They did emergency summon the turbulence, and then they revived it back off the effect of uh, preventer. But Nibiru, they didn't they didn't check their summons. That was the main thing. I think that's how we wanted it because we we timed Nibiru correctly. Um. Because if you look at this card's effect of Preventer, if this card was sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished rescue race monsters, except the level eight. And this is level nine. But a summon it. So in a way, the main aim was to wait for Preventer. Because like we know, Preventer will uh, not Preventer, uh Turbulence. Turbulence will set four cards. And by that point, it, we saw in the previous duel. It's normally a, a, a GG, right? But I was like, not this time around. Wait for the turbulence. Let them not realize you're playing into Nibiru. And that's it. Because they could have just actually summoned turbulence, tribute some other monster, and then set four and then carry on playing. But they decided not to do that. So, yeah. Um, yeah. That's. So we amassed tier four. Great. Almost on the way there to uh, Master One, uh, but yeah, like I said, just to, just to remind everybody. Um, so we tried a different build today. Actually, we played with Ice Barrier. Not bad, actually. Um, so you have a choice: you either throw in an extra Pascalis, or you, and then a, a, a draw. But I think one draw looks like it's working, and then. The ice barrier searches literally whatever you want. So obviously you send a level five or higher, which we do have level five. I mean, we have one, two, three, four. But then you can literally revive any water monster you want back. Which is insane. So yeah. Um again, very happy with the build. Uh it, it does it does work. Uh if you want to try it out, I recommend you try it out. Let me know how you feel about it. Um, so what's going to happen now is during the week, you're going to see some of the duels which I say either from previous streams or whatever. So individual highlights, if you may, if you may, uh, and then you'll, and you'll see obviously the big play where you'll see, um, where like, you know, every season when we reach master rank, we showcase like the, the, the climb, basically how intense the duels were and you'll see. Those duels were very intense. Uh, some of them we took the players to the to the to the to the, the timer because they were trying to activate effects, but they can't keep up. Uh, others we just played around smart. We actually got rid of uh, Flamberge twice, uh, so both copies of Flamberge done. They gone from the game. Uh, so like I said, DD Crow. I, I, I keep saying this. DD Crow is like for me. A, a better bestial. I might, you might argue with that, but I feel like this is way better than bestial because it targets any card, not just light or dark. So first of all, that's great. Um, yeah. And as you can see, uh, this card is there, but it's not really the star of the show most of the time, right? It's not. But if it does, it does. Um, and yeah, every every card here, like I said, has its purpose. So I'm not complaining at all. Uh, even this card, 
as much as it's crazy, it also can literally send this, and then if you have preparation, you just bring it back. So, so that's to me, my job now is to get all that chopped up, uh, nice and edited, and then obviously post it nicely, so that at least during the week you have something to 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 work towards. Um, so I'll probably stream again next weekend again, because uh, during the week I have work and stuff, so it's quite busy, schedules a bit crazy and stuff. So in between, I will be like, you know uploading some videos a bit of shorts also uh just basically on just the grind so far and yeah you'll see some of the dudes you're like wow how did this happen how was this possible how did this how did this how did this make sense like this is not standard marinsis and it's true it's not standard but it works it just works it like i said it's probably not the most competitive build out there but hey if if one thing it's, it feels very rewarding that you can take down potentially the the best decks right now labyrinth okay if you if you play your cards right you can take out snake eye you can take out labyrinth you can take out anything obviously it all depends what you draw in your hand it all depends what board you're playing into but that also is there also i've i've i've, I've seen a request on how to um how do you know when when you have lethal damage like whether it's on turn turn one or beyond turn two like how do you know exactly like wh what line you go into like what what's the card ratio you need to have um to be honest actually not that difficult uh to up uh, to achieve uh even from turn two if you have everything that you need you pretty much are good to go of course it's not saying that you can not you can obviously be disrupted along the way but of course that's obviously just just like any one card combo two card three card there's obviously variance to it so i'll give you an example right so generally the basic one is a two card right um yeah yes yeah, so the song will change once you do the damage yes uh because they can see you have over eight thousand, so you know it's done uh, but normally I don't I don't play with the background music. Obviously I only do it for the stream. But when I play, um, I normally don't, don't because I like I like to focus when I'm playing like off stream and stuff. So I don't like listening to music. I just like to focus on the duel because I don't want to be distracted. Because you know, sometimes you see, as you can see, all these dudes are you have to really look and see hey, what your opponent is doing. So for example, the the basic. Um, OTK right for maximum damage. When I mean maximum, obviously eight thousand and beyond, right? So it could be eight thousand two hundred, eight thousand seven hundred, eight thousand whatever. It's actually it starts off with the two card combo. That's the basic one. The advanced ones are a three card combo. So that is very like if you have that, okay, you can do it. But two card also works. So what do you need? You need blue tank. Okay, you need Spring Girl. You need Mandarin. Yes, Mandarin is actually part of the combo. So if you have one of these three, so one of you don't have to have all three. If you have one of them, plus either Marissa's Dive or Battle Ocean. So either or. So if you have, let's say, if you have Field Spell and Mandarin, or Field Spell and Blue Tank. Field spell or, uh, and spring girl. You will achieve the exact same end board of number one. You will get blue slug equipped with 3500 damage. You will get, um, you will get, uh, marble drop, which is battle protection from your monsters on the follow up. If there's any follow up, but there really isn't. You get wall sea dragons Atlantis, which is co linked to two monsters so it by and itself will mean you can pop at least three cards on the field in the battle phase and on top of that you will get 2500 also and obviously 2700 because of the field spell it boosts all your marines monsters by 200. so that's the minimum right and that's when you see and and the nice thing is it doesn't require non-engine it literally requires the only thing that, that's non-engine is Atlantis. that's the only thing that you need but everything else can be achieved non-engine. No, doesn't require anything else. Doesn't require Ron. Doesn't require this. It now now I'm saying the basic two card combo. The three card combo now depends on what you what you're dealing with. So 
three card combo is spring girl plus any marinza's name any this one this one this one this one even that one plus field spell or that so we know what pascal is when it has that effect to special summon a marinza's monster from your hand that's also like which means you need a different name you don't need to have pascalis again so pascalis plus something plus fields below that gives you the exact same end board um the only variant would be now that's three card combo is if you have a kaiju plus a pascalis or a seahorse plus field spell or dive that also achieves the same thing however you don't have marble rock in that situation you're gonna have a kaiju on your field because remember when you give it to your opponent it's gonna come back off zelantis effect because remember you are the owner of the card so you'll get zelantis you'll get kaiju plus you're gonna get blue, blue slug 3500 so that's still 8200 or so damage so it's still good enough but you can only pop two cards on the field that's fine then the other three card combo is Kashira Oga plus any any Marin says name any right plus field spell with that so you see it's again it's just the ratios are changing but if you see any of those things it's the exact same thing gonna end obviously how you get there is different but the end board is, is, is pretty much the same you'll get the ball with rock you'll get the you'll get the um Zelantis and the blue slug right the same thing about Ice Shade Ron as well. If you're not going to synchro into Gamir, Ice Shade Ron plus any Mar in any um Marinces monster in, in this in this build plus dive or ocean. Any one of those again three card combo again gets you the same in board, right? So if if you guys want to know the basic one. I would suggest you go to my early guide on Marinsis, which I did last year around the Tillman format. Um, it's 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 quite a long video, but I did put timestamps where I specifically talk about the Zelantis OTK. Uh, so you can just go look at that. Uh, it's, it's literally timestamps. You just go there and look at that specific part, and I explain how you get there with the basic combo, either with Blue Tang, with Mandarin, or Spring Girl. It, it, it'll give you all the variants for the basic combo i can do a follow-up video where i do the advanced combos then you can say okay if you have if you're going to play this build you can do um more advanced ways to get to otk as well the same way even even from the graveyard what do you do if you have coral triangle in your grave and you recover from there how do you also recover as well if you don't have that obviously if you uh going second or something like that so what do you do beyond that if you have just core triangle and maybe core an enemy and sea angel what do you do from there can you also go lethal yes you can because it's giving you a head start already so it's like okay four summons also and then you're done um so i can definitely do that as well so i can also work on that and then yeah i think the next time we'll stream again i uh, will probably still be continuing the journey but maybe in between i might be playing a bit uh but yeah there's also a festival coming up uh the dual triangle festival definitely want to participate in that now because obviously now we're not playing marinces unfortunately because it's not it's obviously a uh, fusion synchro uh, fusion xc's yeah fusion synchro and xc's event it's not the uh, link festival so that we obviously can't play marinces but we can also play other water decks as well so i can play back my water xc's uh, we can play water synchro again we can play you can play so many decks you can even play ice jade tillaments again for fusion if you want to so i want to maybe try that uh whenever the festival starts i don't know when that's going to be but that would be interesting uh so we can do that because like i said we don't have to really stress too much now about the master one grind because that can be done in the background because there's plenty of time in the month to get there so i'm not too worried about that and yeah uh there's definitely a lot of stuff i have to deal with now in terms of content because i should not get all the content ready for this week so that this week there's at least a lot of videos in the background for you to at least um 
enjoy uh, taking on the meta, of course, in the year of fire, as they say. But yeah, uh, so big news of today. We hit, we, we hit master rank. Happy about that. Uh, very impressed with the deck list. Very, very impressed with the matchups also, because the matchups compared to this one, wow. I don't know. Like you, you, you'll probably be thinking, wow, how, how did this even happen? How did he play through that so well? Or oh, he could have done better here. Or but that's fine, because that's part of it. That's why I have to show it to you to say, okay, this is how I play. Maybe you would have done something a bit differently, but that's why I wanted you to see it. You know. Obviously, I could I could talk over it, but I'd rather just show you. But yeah, that's basically what I will do. And then obviously, I will probably work on that advanced combo guide uh, for, or even maybe just do an updated Marinces profile. Because when I when I do profiles, I don't let me just talk about the core. I talk about the engine that you can run, and then you can do like the basic combo. So I can maybe do an updated one because that one was probably during the Tillman format, and obviously we're not in the Tillman format now. So I probably could do an updated guide if you want that. Then we we'll do again all a compilation in one. But I think that one already has like the core. Um, so it really will just be like the new additions, basically uh, the new text that you can run, and then the advanced combos. Which you know, if you want to do it, if you want to learn how to do it, because I think a lot of people play Marines, but they don't realize they can actually just go for game um, more often than not because they always think, okay, I can just have let's say argonaut on field and then hope for the best but no sometimes you need to just kill the game you need to end the game now otherwise next turn there is nothing and which is a bit sad because you know the deck has high potential i believe so it just needs a few more things but yeah we we slowly getting there and yeah i think we've i've been, i'm definitely having fun with it um and the question is do you need all these crazy cards some of them you don't really need not really um you can now obviously it's 50 card yes you can cut it to 40 and like i said i there's nothing wrong with playing 40 as well nothing wrong obviously it just means that you're cutting a card which you may or may not would would, would come up you know but that's that's just me i don't i don't have the fear of oh if only i had this card i would have done something but then again you know it's it's luck of the draw like, I mean, you saw now today, the opponent has literally everything they need, so it doesn't really know what you draw. You can, they, your opponent just draws better. So that's what I learned. But yeah, that's uh, enough of me rambling. So yeah, um, 45 card Umi deck. So I I'll, t I'll tell you what, 45 card is actually a, not a bad bridge between 40 and 50. But then again, um, you know, it all depends what you're playing. Because you see, at least when I'm playing my build, you can see it's not like I'm 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 running a bunch of nonsense in there. Like that the, the doesn't synergize with the deck at all. I think every card, in some way or form, synergizes quite well. So, yeah. And because now you know, especially because I'm running small world, it helps to run different types of monsters. Uh, so that at least I can search whatever I want, basically. So that's the benefit of having that. So yeah, like I said deck building is not limited to just, you know, yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is. But 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 at least I know my deck is not meta. That that I know it's it's definitely in the rogue tier. But then again. No one really cares about rogue tier. They only care about oh the best deck. Well, as you can see, we just you know we dominating him, you know a little bit to the extent. Not not saying we dominating completely, but when we do have our time to shine, we have time to shine, and it's not because we we have better cards. Also, there's a bit of skill involved, I would say, because I know when I started playing this deck versus now, I've definitely developed over time how to make marinces a bit better for me so that i can play confidently as you can see it's not it's not like i just picked up the deck overnight and then i know it i mean it's not saying i don't play any other decks i do play other decks also and the same rationale is with any deck i play i try my best to learn the ways to make it better and fun because let's be honest i could easily just say okay no let me just play telements because yes it's a water-based uh, fusion deck but 
I mean, Telemans is Telemans, right? We, we, we've had that meta way back. No one wants to repeat that again. It's like, it's kind of repetitive. Yes, it's nerfed to the ground a little bit, but I mean, that could, that's like kind of not exciting. I think you want to see interesting matchups like, oh, can we keep up with this? Oh, can we do that? Like, how is this possible? Like, it, we start wondering, like, how did we end up at this point? That's kind of what I want to bring. You know, not just, oh, okay, we're playing like Snake Eyes, for example. Okay, I can play Snake Eyes, so what? Okay, we all know how Snake Eyes plays. It plays through like a billion hand traps and they always have outs to everything. You know, they're built in outs, you know, which is surprising in itself, built in outs. Um, but yeah, and searchable stuff like Kurikara, like, geez, that's, Konami should not even, like, do that again, clearly. Uh, but now I see now in the new support that's coming out for the Sinful Spoils, the White Woods archetype looks crazy. Um, that's going to be a problem when it comes out. Uh, I wonder what Lona Dex are going to be in the next event. I actually wonder as well, because they said, according to the leaks, let me... Let me see uh, if I can open it again. Uh, let me see. Master do meta. Uh, I think there should be a section for the leaks. Yeah, the leaks. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so this is the what's in the files, basically. Um, so dual triangle, that's what they call it. Um, they're calling it, yeah. Dual triangle. Uh, it's a fusion synchro exceeds uh, so in the event you'll be able to join three groups so just like the light and dark event you'll choose a group and then you'll face uh, the opposite uh, genre I think so if you select fusion you'll face against f ex synchro exceeds you will never face fusion versus fusion because that would be kind of like whatever um, I, I, I assume that's how it's going to work and then obviously you can change your group you are in at any time so obviously you can try out all three sides so obviously fusion synchro exceeds that's what we'll do so they say fusion group can only include fusion monsters and synchro can only include synchro and exceeds can only include exceeds so you might think this is okay but trust me konami somehow misses cards uh and then things get stuck under the cracks and then next thing you know that festival is kind of broken because now it's like oh whatever and they say during duels the card for forbidden limited list will be applied for that specific um you know group so for example fusion will have its own deck list limited list same with synchro same with exceeds um but yeah you i think when they announce it it'll be more clear because you can go into dual rooms and actually practice uh, which by the way if you guys want me to do dual rooms i can definitely do that uh if you want to but maybe you can do that for the next stream uh we can plan a dual room and then we can see how you know we can practice for this event why not uh so yeah that it's gonna be crazy yeah dimensional barrier unfortunately that's one of the cards that definitely is gonna get hit because i mean it's the fusion synchro exceeds festival we don't want cards that directly affect you know the event so for example synchro zone if they don't get rid of synchro zone that's a problem because that means it counters the pretty much the entire event you know because none neither player can um attack except synchro monsters which is defeats the purpose of the entire event then they're just floodgating everybody so d barrier is definitely a no-no um but then again they've they've always missed something so yeah they haven't got you you know you know what they should bring back there's one event that they should bring back the normal rarity event that should be like a permanent mode like that's the most casual mode you'll ever see that's actually like quite fun because there's no meta decks because all the good cards are ultra rare and sr so you'll be surprised some of the rarity uh cards that are normal and 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 and, and, and rare they're actually pretty good you know so that if you if, if if for those who played the, the normal rarity festival back in the day i still have a lot of footage on that it it always brings you back to the days you know and that was just like a, a great time and we thought they were going to do the same thing with those type of events you know make it more like that because that's what people are used to you know a very simple format nothing crazy 
no ridiculous hand traps maxis you are no no ash blossom nothing no dd crow no vela nothing just simple you know um they should really bring that to normal rarity festival again that would be just like great uh but yeah that would be interesting and what else is here uh link Karibu mate how funny uh this 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 card is literally going to be a meme for 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 time because the fact that it got, it got banned for the sins of snake eyes like no one would have expected link Karibu to get banned but it it, it did i was like huh well yeah that is just so funny because remember remember guys you remember totally awesome totally awesome was also having a mate and the next thing you know it got banned so it's like okay uh totally awesome but at the keeping sprite elf in play so if sprite elf is, is banned then we can free totally awesome i'll definitely take that because that will make 10 times marine says better also you know because in the tcg that's what's happening right now sprite elf is banned but totally awesome is legal and it's i think unlimited yeah it's unlimited actually so they don't they don't care about that as long as sprite elf is banned they can have toad um uh, but i think everything else union carrier all the level two broken stuff that's all banned R ronin totem is banned also so you can't make uh that also too because that's the trade-off basically uh yeah and then wallpapers icons yeah okay so that's pretty much it uh for that uh, anything else let me see in the news what else is here yeah there's a lot of um you know packs for the ocg that's coming out um like animation chronicle oh i will say this animation chronicle there's a card that i'm actually excited for actually and no it's not this one it's this one yeah Aging gear statue this card is actually pretty um insane for aging gear why because it's a free special summon if you can if your component if your component controls more monsters than you do or it's just also on turn one a good starter because you can special summon an aging gear uh, golem or one monster that mentions it ignoring summoning conditions and it's pretty insane and also it's searchable off ancient gear box because it has 500 attack so very good for ancient gears and earth machine in general so yeah love it already uh that's pretty good so look out for that but so probably coming like in a year's time at master Duel, so who knows uh yes dude this ban list i didn't even know it, it is what it is um yeah, but don't you know where this joyous face comes from it comes from the with the dark side of dimensions movie at the end some weird they made a weird expression i was like then it just became like that so that's it funny though uh what else is here i mean dk had the meta weekly what was it on thursday or whatever i think uh who won this thing or was it with the snake eyes yeah, look at this. Three Snake Eye, two Menadium, Rescue Ace, Branded, Dinos. Yeah. Interesting. Who won? Branded. 60 card branded. Now you think, oh, 60 cards is a brick. Uh-uh. No, no, no. You see? Every card in his deck in this one is 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 like is playing through a lot of things. Like he can play through so much. So yeah. Branded is still being branded despite you know hitting the deck so much branded is still pretty much top tier all right uh so that is that um okay all right guys i think that's enough for tonight uh i appreciate everyone for being here uh, like i said it's always good to showcase uh, my passion for Yu-Gi-Oh, and yeah just to um showcase you what you can do with a somewhat non-rogue deck as they call it but i think it's top tier in my opinion uh but yeah we'll see each other probably next week on the stream but definitely feel free to check the videos uh if you haven't checked the videos like some of them you can have a look at them in the channel already and yeah just stay tuned for more because i have a lot of work to do i have to get all the videos edited and chopped up nicely like i said 
so yeah it's been a great stream fun stream actually like <laughs> the most crazy duels and that's why i, I like the stream because when it's when it when you can play it back you're like what how and then my reactions also is like i'm looking back and like oh damn like just you can just see i'm frustrated like this this, this stream specifically like i'm i'm really looking at it back now i'm like if i'm like you see like this guy is just so frustrated but he's still like he still wins for some reason but he's frustrated i was like yeah that's that's me because yeah anyway guys uh have a good night have a good day have a good afternoon have a good blessed weekend a good week and yeah we'll see each other again uh, on the master dual grind cheers everyone diamond boss signing out nice stream definitely nice stream and uh yeah make sure to um stay tuned for more and if you have any questions also remember in the videos comment on the videos like the videos um uh, comment as well if you have any questions maybe some players you want to ask while looking at the replays you're going to see them yeah feedback is always good so yeah cheers everyone